every time I see you now, it's like, wow, long time no see, fam. How you doing? I was just saying, I was just putting on a, I tweeted out today. Well, in fact, I X'd out. Do we say, do we say tweet or do we say X out? I X'd out that, uh, are you still pissed off about the Super Bowl? I'm sure I can get relaxed, actually. Yeah, I see, I'm getting excited about next season already. You know, you can only, you only stay mad so long about the same thing for a long time unless you have some kind of anger management needs. I'm not that mad. I am a little mad. Well, I'm mad because we lost, but, you know, it's, you know, it's just one team. And every year, only one team is going to win that trophy. So, you know, if it falls short, what I am tired of doing, though, is watching the Chiefs hold it up every other year. That's got to stop. That has got to stop. But, fam, for our own personal needs, a huge payday is looming. As 49ers owner Jed York looks forward. Uh, to Brock Purdy's compensation. <laughs> What's the last time you heard an owner, owner get excited about having to pay a lot of money to the quarterback? Uh, yeah, because fam, here's the thing: there's never a dull moment. As 49er fans, we we there's always another a preview to another episode coming up. That's why I said, you know what? Rather than wait to get into this thing with with Brock and and uh, and, the, and the roster and things like that. Have you went into denial? I have to some degree because I figure the 49ers can handle anything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. And he's, he, you know it's going to be upwards of $40 million, right? Uh, anyway, San Francisco has been rolling along <coughs> during the Lynch and Shanahan regime with quarterbacks drawing from comfortable, very comfortable contracts, uh, with Brock's being the king of comfortable co- contracts which enabled the Niners to build an extremely formidable team all around every single call that we've had since they've arrived, right? For the first time in a good while, the Niners may be resetting the quarterback market for salary. Can you imagine that? We finally found a quarterback for Mr. Fickle himself. You know the Shanahan, we're not hearing it. Remember, every summer, Kyle Shanahan has been uh, said to be in Cabo as TMZ tracked him down to a hotel as he was meeting with Matt Stafford. <laughs> you know me, God, Kyle, man. You know, you finally, uh, you know, going to the phones for your take on what to expect as the Niners may soon be paying an elite salary to a quarterback named Brock Purdy. Will the media prediction of a dome impact to a stacked roster materialize? Oh! Honestly, Earlier this week, CEO and soon-to-be top shareholder and completely large and in charge, Jed York, <laughs> charge and in charge, Jed York, York, stated that the team was prepared to offer Mrs. Purdy's baby boy a substantial deal next year. He's got all kinds of smiles on his face. He's delighted. You know what does mean, you know, that if I'm having to pay a quarterback a lot of money, he must be doing a damn good job. That's all Jed wants to say, to think anyway. It's only money. I got plenty of that. I don't care. I don't want to pay the uh, the uh, the tax fee and, or the uh, penalty, but, uh, you know, he's he's like that. And Jed views the matter as a good problem because it signifies that after several setbacks, the Niners have finally identified their franchise signal caller. Jed said at the NFL owners meeting, quote, I mean, it's what the market is. It's not like Brock is going to ask for something that no one has ever asked for before. You have, I don't know how many players making over $40 million as a quarterback right now. And whether I like it or not, that's what the market is. And you have to accept the reality of the world. And to me, the quarterback is the most important position, not just in football, but in the sports, in all sports. And those guys should be paid a lot, unquote. Fam, you know, and so while I'm sitting here and going through the dailies and feeling all warm and cuddly because I'm glad Jed's not going to go in there and say, I don't know about that. And we're all the way in September. The 49ers have not settled their situation with Brock Purdy yet. And so blank blank is going to have to assume the starting duties for the next whatever period of time it takes to sign Brock Purdy. Meanwhile, you know Brock Purdy is not sitting back uh, getting any better, sitting wherever he's sitting and not on the field working out. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that with, with, with BA either. Well, that's, that's, we'll work on that later. But see, fam, you know, as I say, I'm sitting there feeling pretty good about what I read because I go through the dailies all the time, right? And I'm going to tell you right now, fam, I would recommend just if you see uh, Colin Cowherd, just keep moving, man. 
Enter Colin Coward. Is Coward isn't declaring that Purdy isn't worth a massive contract, but being an ass clown that he is has become recently. Uh, he got into his habit of bringing uh, ruin to any comfortable moments you're having. Coward asserts that the impact on the rest of the roster will be substantial, a notion that most of us have already assumed, Mr. Obvious. You know, I don't... B. Purdy slated to earn under $1 million in base salary this year. will soon command a significant portion of the team's salary cap. Okay, fine. We know that. We know that. Coward is arguing that the 49ers are contenders right now, largely due to their minimal investment in the quarterback position, allowing them to stock talent everywhere else. Okay. If we want to go true and false as I'm reading along, okay, true. All right. Uh, we all understand that. But uh, then he got carried away, of course. Once the once comfortable dynamic shifts take place, Coward suggests uh, the 49ers will resemble. Oh, wait for it. The Dallas damned Cowboys. The man is now resorting to name calling on the 49ers. Man, you call me a, a Dallas Cowboy? Coward states, quote, the Niners are at a very fragile point. I'm not sure they understand it. What's it? Coward, it's not rocket science. You're, you're not telling us anything we don't know. The fact that Brock Purdy is cheap slash free uh, allows a stacked roster. They've missed badly on uh, enough draft picks that they're actually perilously thin. We have missed on some draft picks. True. He's false on the Dallas Cowboys. We're true on that, too. That's two. Coward points to Trey Lance, Devon Kinlaw, and there's a few other whiffs, and inconsistent offensive line to support his argument. True. Coward continued by saying, quote, I'm not saying if you pay Brock Purdy, it's going to come tumbling down like Jenga, a Jenga game, but it's going to look a lot like the Cowboys. False, Colin. Why, why, do we, why did you pick them? Um, very, very thin, and about the time January hits, you don't really match up with the Kansas City Chiefs, a Baltimore, a Buffalo, maybe a Detroit, and a Green Bay going forward. Oh, he really, get, he really got into it. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I kept watching, but as he went on and on, and uh, you remember when Tom Cruise was cross-examining Nicholas? I mean, uh, <clears throat> you know, every time I think about that movie, I, I you, you can always resort to it. You know, uh, you don't quite have the pieces. You know you lost that one receiver. Your tight end is banged up. Trent Williams can't play. That's the Cowboys. Three or four great players and really, really thin after that. <laughs> Bam, you know what? No, I'm, 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 I'm not going to answer that one. You know? We, 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 so a lot of times during the course of this last year, we were saying we were top heavy, didn't we? <clears throat> Do you, is that true? Were we? Right, let's just go down through the positions. Trent, Trent Williams. Well, the offensive line. Yeah, that was. That wasn't even top heavy. That was just slacking. Tell you something though, fam. Offensive lines take a while to gel, and develop continuity. Yeah, I, but the talent needs to be there, right? So I'm thinking. Okay, now let's look beyond that offensive line. Okay, quarterback, check. We're okay there. Uh, we got, we got, we got, Sam Donald was not as bad as people thought he was last year. I don't, I don't think. If he had a first string out there all day and, a, and he was playing with, uh, you know, working on getting out on the field all week long, I don't think he would look like he did it against the Rams. Well, he was working out against for the Rams. Anyway, uh, we got a quarterback now, back up. I don't think he's, he's okay. He won't be bad. In fact, he might be kind of exciting. I, I kind of <clears throat> can't wait to see him in, uh, in preseason. <clears throat> but Dobbs is, Dobbs is no slouch. Um, okay, quarterback. Uh, you know what's so funny? Because running backs, we got more than we need. Another thing uh, that needs to be said here, I don't know, did, did, fam, did the Debo and, uh, and, Debo, Debo and, and, and McCaffrey thing, did that work out for you? I'm not sure if there's enough ball for both of them. And when I think about it, 
I wish there was. I wish there was a way to incorporate a systematic situation where they were both pounding the other team, but usually it was one or the other. And most of the time it was McCaffrey. So that leads to the question is, well, the 49ers, you know, there's a dead hap, there's a dead cap hit. Now, next year if the 49ers decide to trade Debo, though, I think that might erase that dead cap. Because you got to figure this year is going to <clears throat> be pivotal for a lot of players on the 49ers roster. And they're going to start thinking about moves they can make because it, it's, it's all hands on deck in the free uh, FO for Brock Purdy's salary. <clears throat> you figure we, he's not going to get Patrick Mahomes' money. Who's after him? Uh, oh, the Chargers quarterback's getting paid a lot. I'm trying to, 48, 45 to 48, I think just barely skimming under 50 million with incentives, it'll take him over 50, you think? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's got to be it. The saving grace for us is Dak Prescott is not getting paid. Because if anybody's going to say, <clears throat> well, Dak Prescott exceeded $50 million in a salary negotiation earlier today. Ah, uh, how come? Jerry, he's not worth that. Now we got to pay Brock more than him because Brock is worth that. Oh, fam. I, you know, it, it, I, your feeling on this, are we going to fall on bad, hard times if they sign Brock? Is our front office strong enough to maintain a roster that can continue to be compete and be relevant? And can we still compete for championships? Or will a certain amount of cap casualties hit us and we just can no longer play at that same high level? This is why BA is of the ultimate importance now. You don't want Brock to go out there without his best weapon. BA was probably his best receiver, right? <laughs> no, there's no question about it. BA was his best receiver. Everybody else was a role player of, you know, <clears throat> they could expand. J.J.'s uh, a role. George Kittle seemed to take a different whole profile, didn't he? George is not that main guy anymore, although I wish he would be incorporated a little more. You heard about the guy we got uh, from the Lions. We signed him to an offer sheet, Brock Wright. Now, if he can take some of the credit off of George, if he can block and do some things like George does, which I wish... I'm figuring the 49ers must have noticed that about him somewhere, Hal, and that's why they decided to go uh, compete with uh, the Lions to sign their own guy, right? Lions got five days to go. They re-sign him, that's over. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, fam, your opinion on the impending potential dome of the signing of Brock Purdy and what it'll do to the roster. Will we be okay with the league's most highest paid quarterback for whatever amount it takes to sign the next quarterback. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Big Show says if you don't hit the like and sub, Rumble will kidnap your cat and bring him home for MC. <laughs> Thanks, Show. You're right, too. Especially you trolls coming in here from other places. You guys are treated even being here running around between us anyway, you know? Yeah, you guys ought to be paying us He's anyway. Like, Taking in from everywhere. You know? <laughs> Maddie. Hey, Maddie, you're not. Buddy. Rambo. Maddie, are you concerned? <laughs> uh, you know, I've thought about this, but I didn't want to bother myself. I'm very what concerned. Are you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just keep looking at all the guys we have on our roster and looking at how much people want to get paid. And it's like, man, <clears throat> I mean, I know I'm not in their position. I'm not in front of like all these multi millions of dollars. So I don't quite understand what that's like, but at the same time, it's like, man, you would think you would want to stay on a team that was ready to win. Maybe take a team friendly deal. Not like you're going to get robbed or anything, but like, mm. I don't know. I mean, you were talking about 40 million for Brock. It's not worth that kind of money. He's a great quarterback and he's going to demand top money, but I still, mm. I don't know. And then, I was listening. To, I don't know if you saw that last night. I just happened to to go by um, what is it, the nightcap and uh, yeah, yeah, Shay Shay was on there talking to IU. Yep. Yeah, that's where I got decided. I was like, oh shoot! So I stopped. I was like, oh cool. So I listened to the BA talk for a little while. So I mean, I hope it gets all worked out. But it's like, man, 
trying to cram all these guys into to, to thirty a million space. dollars. It's really a lot of money, but every, everybody wants a lot of money. Thirty. It's like thirty million is the baseline now for all, everybody. You know, Ocho sitting there saying, "You should ask for thirty million dollars." Oh, Ocho, come on, man. We, <laughs> I, Brandon, come on, man. Get up and oh, go. God. He even said he even mentioned thirty two. He's like, "Oh, thirty know. to thirty two, and I'm like thirty one. I'm like, get out of here, dude. I'm thinking more like twenty seven. Players, you know, Manny, players don't think about the team at all. If they lose every game, it doesn't matter to them. They just want to get paid, and that's a very I'm very that. difficult thing to deal with. <sighs> yeah, it's super hard to get past because you know you you obviously have to draft well if you're going to get into those positions because well. you need players that you don't have to pay a ton of money. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a it's a real mess. You know, we paid Debo a ton of money. And when do we have to have Brock paid by? We have another year or two. We got another year. Your negotiations can start next year, but uh, yeah, that's what we're up against next year. <laughs> and I don't know who else is coming up with a contract mean, next year. There's got to be other people besides. We never have just one guy getting signed. Uh, Jawan yeah, Jennings exactly. is probably going to start saying, multiple. "Yeah, yeah," because because you figure Jennings is going to say next year, you know, I don't mind these restrictions and contracts and things like that. But you know, I contributed to us getting as far as we did last year in a big way. If you, I yeah. mean, I just I don't want to come in and be greedy or anything, y'all. Like, can we take me off the RFA? I mean, I just I'm just saying. No, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, it kills me, man. It's like we've got all these high end players, and you know they're all going to want to get paid. You know, you got who who funga coming up too. <laughs> oh, that guy's the that guy's going to demand some real respect. But they're still looking around for safeties. They're still talking about safeties. Unless, you know, unless a no, real good one come, drops in uh, on a free agency like Simmons or somebody like that. Simmons is still out there, too. No. Um, unless they want to we'll get see. a team-friendly contract, they're not going to pick up a safety. But they're talking about it. That makes me yeah, wonder, of course. how are you guys talking about yeah. That, yeah. yeah, what are you guys talking about, man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's man? That guy, I just, man, that guy's just. He's some. He's on. A, I don't know. He's just. He's. He's mentally on another level, man. Oh yeah. He's, he, he is definitely. His anticipation skills are unbelievable, and he'll be able to play as he oh, wants yeah. to play too. Because Shannon said he was sold on Sorensen right away, and I imagine that Sorensen is going to bring back uh, what we were doing before they hired Wilkes. Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how that all all unfolds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just crazy, you know, because we, you know. You know, going into the Super Bowl this last season, you know, it's all this off season stuff came so fast. You know, yeah, it really did because we went late into the season, and now here we are in the middle of it. Yeah, it was already oh, yeah. going on before we even got done. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's a good thing, but yeah, we got we got some things to be worried about. Hopefully, um, hopefully some people will take some team friendly contracts. Um, I, I'm, I imagine some people are just going to leave and go get paid. Man, that's just yeah. how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna be sad to see some people go. I just yeah. don't want any of these guys to go to Seattle. I don't want them to go to L.A. I don't want them to go. I don't want them to go to Arizona. Like, well, just, just get L- out. Yeah, go across the country. You, you know, so L.A.'s got two of the highest offensive linemen in the league. Yeah. Like, well, you know, I, um, but the Rams do very strange things. I don't. They picked up one of our people, but you know what? Actually, uh, a couple. But they are not a team that has a lot of money to spend. And if, if they know it's good for them, they won't run that route again for a while. So, but Seattle is another. No, they've got to be real frugal. Yeah, Arizona's yeah, got, lots got of, some space. Arizona's got lots of money, though. Arizona's got a ton. You know. So yeah. I'm, yeah, and they've got some draft picks. Yeah. So we'll see so, if they're good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, you know, that's, I think that's what we'll be getting into this year. we got way more picks than we need. The 49ers, uh, 10 kids aren't going to make the 49er roster next year. I'm, I can't no, wait for the draft. We all. just got a two, two more weeks to go, right? I, this is going to be very interesting to see what the 49ers do. Uh, to get into the uh, very excited to see what position we do. to get a good offensive lineman for, for the future. We need to protect that quarterback, my friend. Got to. He, had he been had protection, we would have won the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, just a little more time in the pocket. Both of those, of the, something else I keep forgetting to bring up. I know, like, right? Man, I didn't realize Feliciano. how little money we were offering Armstead. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna hold that one off for Sunday. How insulting was that? But God, six million dollars with all 
with a point potential eight million. I mean, million I know he's had a little bit of. Yeah, it's like, come on, man! I know he's been a little injury prone, but he's been a good dude, and he's he's been a solid team player, man. It's like, dude, that's it. That's that's insulting for almost anybody, bro. Like, come on, come on. Man, I don't think they had much money set aside for that for the defensive position after the they only signed the new guy in uh, for eight something uh, from Texas. So you know, I don't know. Yeah, I hate to see him go, but it's just part of the gig, man. You know, Manny. Honestly, if he was getting hurt, he, that plantar fasciitis that's going to reoccur. So you figure Eric's going to miss from three to six games every year between now and the end of his career. I I don't know. Well, Patrick Willis, I think, had some of those issues too. Yeah, it was in his foot too. So he he quit, you know. So we, yeah, twelve probably would have been a fair offer for for Armstead. I'm guessing See, that makes more sense. Yeah, but don't give him don't that offer him been... six. That pissed him off. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I did, did. Did you see what the? I didn't. I didn't notice what the Panthers paid him. No, you mean uh, the? Uh, talk about that. Jacksonville. They paid him fourteen. Or Jacksonville. That's what I meant. Fourteen, 14. a year. Yeah, All 14, right. Fourteen hey. a year. Both hey, years. He can do it. Guaranteed. You know. Yeah. Well, he's gonna. He's not gonna be one of those dudes that gives you problems off the field or on the field. He's not no, gonna. He's a, he's a community. He's, guy. he's gonna. He's gonna play when he can. Yeah. He's a tough dude. I mean, yeah. I, I get it, man. Like he's been playing with us for a while. He's. You get beat up out there, man. Stay the least. Man, we're going to go. I'm going to be back Sunday. Yeah. And we can get back more into the Armstead situation. I'm really feeling kind of strange Heck about yeah, that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right, Matty. We got a lot more to talk about, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> of course, dude. 49ers. Love you, bro. Hey, you guys have a good night. Back, yeah. Matty up in beautiful Bend, Oregon. Night, Matty. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. Good night, buddy. Night. Aaron. Night, buddy. Aaron, you know, I'm, uh, are, are you concerned or, or, or worried about what we're going to look like after next season? I mean, going in, you know, next season. Well, you know what? As a matter of fact, Aaron, I, the 49ers may be doing a lot of trimming come cut day. If we see some people walk and be like, whoa, 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 they cut. I, I got a feeling the exodus is going to start now. Are you, are you thinking about this? Um, you got to, Aaron. You got a speaker open. I can get. The, I can hear the feedback. Can you, can you cut that? Can you turn that down or lower? Okay, go ahead, Aaron. Maybe it wasn't you. Okay, go ahead. Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, there you are. Okay. I'm back. All right. Go ahead, Aaron. Give us give us your twenty cents word. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of worried because you just never know how much, um, yeah, York is going to pay Brock Purdy, so, um. Well, no, he, well, Aaron, well, on that, he seemed to be willing to pay Brock Purdy. Um, what that means is, I don't know, but I, he's not going to, he's not going to lowball him. So, yeah, go ahead. No, yeah, I I don't think he's going to lowball Purdy. It, it'll probably be between forty four to forty eight million dollars. Yeah, so. I agree. I agree. With an incentive package, you go to the Pro Bowl, we go to the Super Bowl. You could get in excess of fifty five mil. Yep. I think that's about right. So, um, and also that's why this year's draft is going to be important because we got to hit some draft picks, at least five of them. Yeah, and get and trade the rest up. Yep. Um, cause like, well, 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 you know we got to pay guys like Brandon Ayuk and Brock Purdy, but probably um Aaron Banks. Um, oh, I, I was trying to think of who else. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh. And um, yeah, so um, 
Forgot about Banks and yeah, Miller. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's why, you know, we, you know, we develop well. We draft it and develop well. So. Yeah, and we, our coaches. We're gonna lose coaches next year. Because everybody loves the 49ers organization. If they can get a coach from that organization, they feel like they've got a chance to compete. So, you know, it, it's crazy. I, Greece is one of the most, you know, Greece is one of the most, the guy's the most, one of the revered uh, coaches in the, in the game right now. Because you, he looks, you look at Brock Purdy. They even said he, he actually made some substantial changes in Trey Lance. Jimmy Garoppolo, even though people don't think he does, did very well. Did a lot better after Greasy got there. Gra- Grapple was on a roll before he left. But, you know, this is all Greasy. After Greasy came, you've seen all these things start to get better and better. So yeah, he could leave us anytime, too. Ah! No! And they got to pay Greasy, no matter what happens. He makes a difference. But, yeah, we always got to deal with that. <laughs> and money with their players. <sighs> yeah, that is true, though, because... You know, we have a, a, you know, a great, um, you know, a great um, culture in, um, in coaching staff. So, you know, so, but um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm hoping we get, you know, lines so that we can protect our property. Mm. We all do. Oh my God, please. Yes. And as I say, I will never stop saying that is a reason why we lost the Super Bowl. Your last minute there, Feliciano goes down, Burford comes in, he misses assignment. Oh, Jesus. What's Smith? I mean, I mean, Chris gets in there and right in the view of two touchdown options. Damn it. I mean, I was trying to, uh, I, was, I was already over that. <laughs> Every time I think about it, I get mad again. All right, go ahead, Aaron. God, man, damn. Yeah, um, I mean, they just left Chris Jones, like, unblockable. I think Feliciano would have slowed him down just enough. I really do. I don't know what the hell Burford was doing, but I, I'm sure Feliciano had been doing a good job on him all day, would have continued that, especially in that crucial moment. Yeah, and um, but yeah, Rambo. Um, man, if Brock Purdy has the same, well, if he had the same, um, you know, situation the performance he had from last, oh, yeah. yeah, from last year, or even better, mm-hmm. man, his his um, he's got to get paid. <laughs> Yeah. Look when we get better because he's working. He's got this last year. He was rehabbing all off season long, not really working on his game. Brock pretty pretty much pretty much worked on his game all season long. He is what he he naturally he is what we saw last year. Now he's got time to polish. He's settled down. He's gotten married. He's a happy guy. All he's looking forward to now is getting back out there, redeeming himself, and shutting the critics the hell up. I mean, you know that's what he's thinking. Look for a better Brock Purdy this year, and that's interesting. Yeah, that's that is true, Rambo. And um, and I think today we signed. Well, I the think we sheet. signed a tight end from. That's yeah. Brock Wright. Yeah, we signed. We signed the offer sheet. Offer sheet. They've got five days to match. <clears throat> We're not, I think are paying him uh, somewhere between three and four. Uh, the Lions have to get go out of pocket on that. They've got to beat that price or match it at least. Um, we'll see. We got five days to wait. Yeah, I mean, you know what, Rumble? I just got a feeling that the four nights are probably going to draft a D line in the first round. Because <laughs> I don't think they. I, know. I, I don't think they. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think they. Yeah, I don't think they. They're going to prioritize. Oh, not in the first round. Well, they'll, give the third round. they'll give us a reason for it. They'll give us a reason for it. We didn't see anybody uh, that was equal to anything we have in camp, so we decided to go ahead and bypass that for now and 
and said, oh, my God, oh, Kyle, Kyle. You probably said that the same year you drafted Javon Kinlaw and there was two guys, offensive linemen, that were damn good. Okay, you know what? Aaron, we got to go. I don't, I'm not going to get mad tonight. I'm not going to do it. Not about the 49ers and some of the mistakes they've made. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll see you Sunday, though. Huh? All right? All right, Ron Bull. All right, Aaron. Always appreciate you, Bang, man. bang. Not a game. Not a game. <laughs> not Aaron. <laughs> Oh, there he comes. Let's get him, man, Eric. He is the leader of the Dragon Clan out in Tennessee. He is Papa uh, Dragon. Pop, get in here, man. What's what? going on, Rombo? What? What? No, that's not going <laughs> no, no, no. no, on. Oh, Rombo, no, no. It went like this. It went like this. It was like, uh, yeah, they'd like to uh, offer a. Uh, Erica, six million dollars a year. What? Uh, six million, sir. What? Six million. What? <laughs> Let me walk you... out the door before I stomp a mud hole in your. <laughs> I'll take this plant to fast right as straight up your candy. Yeah. <laughs> understand from a business perspective what happened there but at the same time come on Kyle it's just like Eric said this, you know there's business and, and personal at this point we've known each other too long you can treat me like that come on man you could offer me at least eight or ten I mean I'm embarrassed by the amount you but that would have been at least I would have said well you know I understand and and this and that but I can't stay for that y'all I really appreciate it give me offer him ten <sighs> That was basically, you don't have to go home. You just got to get the hell out of here. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. God. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Kyle Shanahan has only went to bat for a couple of players, and typically those players are in Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there, actually. I'm serious. He has. I mean, when Devo's having problems, Shanahan stepped in. Certain wins about the time on Kansas City. Man, Kyle sprinted in on that one. Yeah. I know. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Hey, 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 listen, hold on. I've got this, all right, Trent? Trust me. Just hold on. You won't, be, trust me. You know, could you see him on the phone? Because Trent's sitting there talking about signing with Kansas City. Damn. And Trent was so nice as to do that, which is what made me crazy. Kyle, y'all better do something quick. Okay. Ooh. Well, you know, Trent Balky is famous for taking risks. On damaged players, <laughs> but, <laughs> man, but that you gotta understand something right now. The best of the best of, of, of best ability is availability, right? Yes. So if you think about it, if you think about it. If this dude keeps having, you're not supposed to have chronic plantar fasciitis. That's not how it works. You get it once, you typically heal from it, and then you're good. Does the body? That's how it works. He's like getting it every year. Yeah. Does the body so, build an immunity to that type of? Gonna... Can you build an immunity? No, to that it's a, it, no. It it's be... a, no, you're as you get older, your it gets worse. It's because you got five feet and two left feet. feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, since you have injuries in your feet, it's like it's the muscles. It's the muscle plates at the bottom of your feet, right. and those get all out of whack. You know, this is about everybody. Um, everybody listening right now is going to eventually get it. You, you start having that kind of problem when you're late, mm. you're like your late thirties, early forties. Mm. If your athlete can happen a lot sooner, being yeah. the fact that he's like six foot, so he's already an abnormally tall human being. It's going to it's going to compound. And, and then gravity, all that stuff plays a role. Plus, the sport of football, all Ooh. that pushing off. You know, chances are his plantar fasciitis will never heal until he actually retires from football. Yeah. That'd be my guess. But I also think he has some knee issues, too. So I think he's got some chronic knee issues, too. And the was fact he, what, that... Was he one of the guys getting his knee drained every year, too? No, that was that um, was Mike. That was I McGlinchey. I, I honestly, honestly don't know too much about his personal history because he's actually a pretty private guy. In regards to his like his health and stuff like that, which is smart. Yeah, his part. yeah, yeah. But he's pretty private. Business. You don't hear too much coming out of the uh, out of the room about him. 
because he was also a very respected player in the 49ers organization. And the community, too. But, exactly. So, you know, I mean, that is what it is. You know, as far as Brock Curry, the market dictates the market, right? Mm -hmm. So, on planet Earth, there are 32 (laughs) NFL starting quarterback positions. And we've seen way more people fail than not fail. And right now, we don't even have 32 starting quality quarterbacks in the NFL right now at this moment. And that's the truth? Boy, that is true. That's supply and demand. So whoever is the highest paid quarterback when they negotiate Brock Purdy's contract, whoever the highest paid player is, his agent is going to ask for probably one to two million dollars more than whatever that is per year. That's what they ask for. Is this a per, it's a per year thing? Although I mean, that really equal that. Well, they give you the big like number and they paper, divide but, it up. Yeah, per how many seasons, right? Well, it's, it's, it's that there's there's phantom years in the deal and and uh, you know the, the the real the real money and commitment is going to be the guaranteed money. Yep. Everything right, else so is you just, really want to see. It? Yeah, wind and yeah. Right. So if they, if everyone around here is thinking that he's only worth forty million dollars, they're just mistaken because. You can say the same thing about Kirk Cousins, but look what he's been paid. <laughs> Boy, that's the Mac Daddy of the NFL. He has made more money pimping the NFL for years. People just throw blank checks at him. God. Look, look at how much money Buck Smith made. That yeah. The quarterback position is a position that puts butts in the seat. The position looks a certain way. It sounds a certain way, and it quacks a certain way. And when you look and sound a certain way, you're going to get your money. Now, there are rare occasions where different really super uber talented people will get paid. But the bottom line is that it's going to cost a lot of money. But if you're a 49er fan, you don't worry about that. Because right now, Patrick Mahomes, at the time, signed a half-billion-dollar deal. And I think right now he's like the sixth or seventh highest-paid quarterback. <laughs> we, I, that's why there's no need to model you look anymore. At, you look at it by year. Yeah. When you look at it by year, that's what it that's what it all kind of shapes up. But it's all so, fluff. You know, you know, can you imagine how much money Patrick's making other than because the fact of the matter is he got incentives in his in his package most likely. Patrick Mahomes is making that billion of dollars we're talking about. Because the fact you went to the Super Bowl, you won the playoffs, you did this, you did this, you just this. Y'all, you know, I did I covered all them uh incentives, so uh pay me the money, baby. And they did. It doesn't hit the cap. Well, I mean the reality is, is that at the end of the day, this team won't be able to do what it's done in the past. And I think they're trying to they get ready for that moment right now, based on how they handle free agency this year, mm. a lot differently than last year. So mm. instead of spending twenty million on one player, you know they spent like twenty on two or yeah. twenty eight on three on three players. You know what I'm saying? So budgeting, budgeting, yes. They definitely seem to be preparing for it, but. Based on what her defense was last year, especially against stopping the run, and a lot of that was because our Eric Armstead was in the lineup. Yeah, and then you also, had new, you also had a new defensive tackle who is not known for stopping the run. That is equals a disaster. So, but we all saw it last. We saw it in the preseason. The Shanahan acknowledged it was a problem in the preseason. We ain't fired Wilkes. Didn't carry through the year. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you got to understand something about Kyle Shanahan. His ego is no joke, dude. He is like the Sith Lord in the, in the rule of two. It's like, you got to be down. If you're not down, Shannon, he will he will show you the door. <laughs> so, and, right there. You're going to be down. And, and make it seem if, like. If, he, if a coach comes to you and says, hey, the coach comes to you, talk, and he's like, hey, you want to go to Cabo? You guys are like, yes, sir. I do want to go to Cabo. So, tell everybody in the locker room. Okay, you're like, if you're like, like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the Cabo clan. Oh, you got family plans. They're more important than Kyle Shanahan. Okay. I'll see you on the practice field. <laughs> Dre, got, Mr. Mr. Trey Lance, I'll see you on the practice field. We got to go. Like, we got to go, fam. You got to take out that number five and put on a 45 because you're running up the middle today, buddy. <laughs> you're just rolling today. <laughs> Phil, we got to go. I tell you what, though, I can't wait till Sunday to bring on the Dragon Show again. Ah, oh, man, God. we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. I just know it. Because I look at other teams and how they're struggling. All right. No better than us. All right, all right, fam. Appreciate we'll be you all right, man. I know. We'll be all right. Hey, yeah. shout out to everybody. 
especially Big Tony Down Under. I can't wait to hear what he's got to say today. And Tony from Atlanta <laughs> always brings some good – He's like a football correspondent. He just needs to go work for ESPN. Tony, Tony's always ready. He, he knows, to well, he knows yeah. the squad on every yeah. corner. I love it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, All right. Say, say, hey, and, say uh, hey, hey to Bam and boom, boy. The, the, the adorable twins. And also, Mrs. Dragon. Pop, I'll see you Sunday. I'll see you Sunday, man. Looking forward. Like <laughs> and subscribe, y'all. Like and subscribe. Not Thanks, enough Pop. likes here. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. Uh, I see that Mr. Block Guys says, <clears throat> what's your grade for the offseason uh, so far? Uh, I mean, you, Mr. Block Guys, you know what, honestly, and, and since most of us have been watching 49ers long enough to realize you can't sign everybody. I'm going to give the 49ers an A because they, they, they tried to add some substance behind the starters and at any rate. And they didn't break the bank, and they, they knew what they were doing. They're, they're very intelligently steering their way to take care of players they have to take care of. Because the 49ers have a, they have a policy in place where they always take care of their A-listers if they can. Uh, they haven't lost one yet. Uh, well, they've lost a couple, actually, but they were on their way out anyway. You, know, you look at um, Lincoln Tomlinson, you look at Eric Armstead. Uh, there, there's some other players, but they, it was pretty much, they were behind some other people. So, uh, hey, yo, Bill, Bill, Bill. All righty. Here we go. Bill, I thought about you when I was, um, listen, I was listening to Cowherd, when Cowherd called us the Cowboys, if we signed Brock Purdy next year. Um, well, that's gonna be, a, no, I hate to put it like this. Um, listening to Jed York, he's comfortable losing Super Bowls. He does not care about winning Super Bowls. York's head is not where it needs to be. So I am a little frightened. I already know how this draft is going to go. No, wait, no, no, wait, and wait, wait, wait. Know- Bill, he just said he's not, he refuses to feel ashamed of the outcome. He didn't say he doesn't want to yeah. win, but he's not running around all pissed off and ashamed. To yeah. be champion, you can't be satisfied at number two. You gotta be. You gotta want to win it. You gotta feel ashamed of losing the Super Bowl, or you show that you're not wanting to go out and get it. He, you gotta know the mentality. The, the more, you have a dreamer, and you have an achiever, and you have those that are in between that are happy where they are. Yeah. He is in between. He's not well, a dreamer. And he's not an achiever. He is in between. <laughs> and I'm going to put it like this. I already know where the three receivers I was talking about, one of them I know most likely will end up is in Philadelphia. And that's the one thing that you want to put Brendan Rice in the Eagles. Brendan Rice is going to Philadelphia Eagles. That is my call. So with what he said earlier, I think we are going to get a DL in the, uh, the draft. And here's the sad part. Here's the sad part. What if we try to sign Brandon Ayuk and he turns us down or he wants to be traded next year? How are you going to feel not getting those receivers? How are you going to feel if we lose Brandon Ayuk or not getting one of those three receivers and giving it a try? Bill what, Bill, what makes you think Brandon Ayuk wants to leave? Brandon Ayuk wants a contract. He does. He's not going to turn it down. No, it's substantially not going to turn it down. His wife is all his girlfriend or whatever is all over social media, Bill, and normally the woman knows best. Bill, Bill, don't pay attention knows to social media. It. Listen, there's points of taking the social media seriously, and there's points you shouldn't. Did you see him on Ocho and Shay Shay? He doesn't. He's not crazy about leaving. He wants to sign with the 49ers, but he just does. He wants to get, as he says, well, what he deserves. Here's your good news, Rombo. You're going to get to keep Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure they do. They ain't going to trade him. That's not happening. We ain't getting any of the other wide receivers that are out there. We ain't getting Christian McCaffrey's brother. It's not happening. <laughs> Who we going to get is a DL. Or most likely, here's one that might blow our mind, a Kyle Shanahan move. On the first round of the first pick, the 49ers select a kicker. <laughs> God damn, you just hit us. <laughs> No, 
Shanahan doesn't this, take win moves. You know I what? I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. And hey, well, you're wrong, wrong. Bill. Because listen, Kyle knows if he does that, there'll be a bunch of angry fans waiting outside for him to go come to his car. <laughs> I, I, want, I, got some, I got some comedy out there, okay? I got to throw some comedy after the Super Bowl loss. I'm not happy. You know, I don't hate the Niners. I want them to win a Super Bowl, okay? I, I got to put some comedy out there. And, and no, I no, think it, York it, is taking me. Yeah. Huh? No, it's, it's good to have a sense of humor this time of year. Because, you know, it, it, it's... <laughs> It's ludicrous that we're even talking about anything less than a six Lombardi. So you know you can't you can't minimize a comedy right now if you're a Forty Nine er fan. So go ahead, you're doing all right. But we're not getting a kicker in the yeah. first round. I'm telling you that right now. It's a joke, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyle, Kyle, I can see Kyle for the meeting now. You know what, Jake Moody pissed me off so much. You see all this gray hair I've got all of a sudden? I had black hair last season, and now look, you know what I mean? And also, but the bags under my eyes, I can pack up a whole suitcase of clothes in each one of those eyes. <laughs> because of Jake Moody. <laughs> I'm, I, I, by the way, I'm kidding. Jake Moody's going to be fine this year. I really believe that. Yeah, I think he is, too. And, and one little pinpoint, Jed York. Quit having dinner. With uh, the Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones. Don't take no pointers from him because they're not winning nothing. Quit taking the Cowboys pointers, okay? Quit trying to lose and, and try to even up for the Cowboys. Go out and get a sixth ring, seventh ring, and, and keep winning. And win Super Bowls. Don't be happy with the loss. You should slap yourself in the mirror for saying that. <laughs> you know, you got a good point there. Jerry Jones is not concerned about winning a Super Bowl. Jerry Jones pretty much now is just concerning about running a business Putting on a product on the field that at least competes to so keep butts in the seats, um, he knows they're not going to win the Super Bowl. I think he does, and he's going to continue to try to put merry minimums around a few good players he has. And this is what this is why Cowherd's running around saying, "Yep, Fortnite's going to look just like the Cowboys next year after they signed Brock Purdy." I tell, oh, come on, Colin, man, why don't you just take your show and cut it off and stop it? We're a better you know organization what? than that. I you know what? I really do believe wrong. that. The 49ers organization is very astute as to what makes a team work. And that's why we got to the position we've been in since Shannon and Lynch arrived. They both know what they're pretty much doing. Although we would disagree with a lot of what they do, but still, they're still steering that ship pretty well. A little bounce here, a little bounce there. We have, we have a seventh trophy. And we just screwed up. But I don't know, you know, how to fix that. Well, the party really wants a Super Bowl. I've seen it in the Super Bowl after the game. I saw the tears in his eyes. No, he's got some dog, he's gonna man. come out on fire next year. He's gonna put all those critics out there and call out to those guys we're talking about. They're gonna be eating their words. And I think we're gonna do okay. I think we should, you know, be all right. You know, we should win one. You know, I don't think Kansas City's gonna be that dangerous next year. Uh oh, they weren't dangerous this year, uh, Bill. That's what scares me about the Chiefs. This is scaring me so bad. I'm trying not to be bothered. But their team look like ass. Offensively, they look like butt cheeks. Detroit versus everybody. They ain't going nowhere. Keep dreaming. They're going to Detroit baby. <laughs> but the they're thing is... Gonna work, they're going to burst the L with Couch Bowl, okay? Detroit you, versus uh, the Cowboys in the Couch Bowl. How about that one? You like that one? You don't pay him no mind. Listen, you know what? The Chiefs are everybody's problem. The, the, the Bills don't want to be bothered with the Chiefs. The uh, for sure the Bills don't. Uh, there's a couple other teams too. Oh, jo Lamar Lamar wants nothing to do with the Chiefs. We are in that same boat the, of great teams that the Chiefs say we don't. I look. I will go on the road and beat y'all. I don't need that. I don't need Tyreek. I don't need him. I, all I need is Tay Tay's boyfriend, and and I got I got Chris. I'm good. And he did. Fucking unbelievable. I think we face them again in the Super Bowl. It won't be the same outcome, Robbo. Yeah, they right. just got to get. They just got to go out and get the players. And just imagine we did get Jerry Rice's son. Who's going to cover IU? Who's going to cover Debo? Who's going to cover uh, uh, yeah. Jennings? Well, no, they, they're not going to – offensively, we, it, we just make other mistakes right at the wrong time. But we're gonna, we ran over time here. Let me, I'll, I'll see you Sunday, all right? 
Give me a 49 a shout out, and if I don't get on here, happy Easter, everybody. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. This is Easter Sunday. Nana! And then kick her in the first round. <laughs> and I it feel good to be Cowboys fans, and Detroit loses to the Cowboys in the Couch Bowl. Have a nice day. <laughs> the Couch Bowl, I like that one too. I know. Well, I, it's a big show. Ooh, it's a big show all tonight. Hey, hey, show. Come on in, man. This is, this is the fun part of the year. The one shows in, you know he's getting ready to stir the pot. Show, come on in, man. <laughs> What's up, Bravo? You, Show. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. First of all, shout out to all the trolls in the chat using their mom's Wi-Fi in their mom's basement. <laughs> um, I know. Especially Tribe. That, what, is that clown me oh or what? Oh, my goodness. My God, that's a uh, R- R- Sports. It's, a, it's that, that clan of three, Tribe, Jimmy Everett, and Ramilla. Uh, Rams fans, you wonder why they're always spending so much time in here. It's amazing. <laughs> but go ahead. Anyways, um, as far as Brock Purdy paying him the bank, we gotta we better be careful about that um, because anything anything in the anything in the NFL can happen. And um, our coach can decide to up and retire. Um, John we talked about that year away. before last, you know. I, yeah, that could. Uh, there's only so many Super Bowls you can stay at a loss, and you know, like anything can happen. And what, what's going to happen? We're going to be stuck with a quarterback who who is overpaid and is going to be learning a new system. If that were if that were to come to fruition, God forbid it happen. No, no, new coach um, would immediately want his own own quarterback. You know how they do. Those are the scenarios you got to think about before you before you even think about paying him forty million dollars a year. You know what I mean? And number two, in order in order for that to happen, paying him forty million dollars a year, a lot of the older players going to be walking next year. I know. I'm, I, it's George Kittle. Believe it or not, it's just time for some of these guys to start heading out. It is. It is kind of a scary thought. Every time we think about Trent Williams at thirty five years old, said, how much more time do we think we can get out of Trent Williams? Ooh. And there's only so much we can get out of Christian McCaffrey too. Like, yeah, they're running him two hundred times a year. Colin Cowboy, which was an under true fact, you can't you can't run that dude two hundred times a year. That's going to kill him. And he refuses to think about that. And we're, you know, like it's we're in we're in cap hell right now. We are, well, and that's why I I don't think any negotiations are going on right now between Brandon and I. They say they're going on right now, but nothing's moving because where's the money going to come from? Where does the money you ever come from? You can't have $60 million tied up into two no, receivers. But I, You've I seen what the Chargers did. They got rid of... Inside, you know, so. Yeah, you've seen what the Chargers did. They got rid of both of their receivers. <laughs> I know. You know, I, that's hardball. I'm going to run the ball anyway. I don't need them. You know, so I'm... I'm we're going to run the ball. We always try to run the ball. And, just, and why just, would you pay somebody $32 million to $30 million a year when our offense is predicated off of the run? And he's only targeted 100, 100 or five times a year. Okay, so sure. listen, I want to ask you this, though. Between you and I, uh, how many? I got Brandon Ayuk, Jawan Jennings, a, a kid to be drafted later as your three top receivers next year. Everybody else is calling themselves a receiver on that team. is gone. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right, doesn't um, it? That's why I always... I'm I'm a big I, I like taking risks and I'm a, I'm a huge I'm a huge trade guy I like trading as you know since I've ever called it on the show I do know yeah. I'm not a fan of overpaying players and <laughs> paying everybody because you bankrupt yourself down the line and you <laughs> you can't sustain success for the next twenty years I mean so you'd be like you do you remember Donald Sterling of the uh, no that's way before my time well Donald Sterling was a very frugal I don't spend no money I just put these guys out here for entertainment purposes I'm not trying to win any championships you know Donald Sterling used to own the uh, the other team in LA not the Lakers but who are those people again anyway the Lakers still own LA I mean we all seem to be content with just going there and losing Super Bowl so what's the the point (laughs) we can't become the Clippers okay that's what I'm saying we gotta you gotta gotta look like you're really going for the red yeah, we reach the ring and then it gets snatched from us. 
from the Hobbit of the Chief. Yeah. So we keep win- losing on stupid last minute fails. That is strange. And you always got to prepare yourself for a big trade to happen in the NFL because it's very unpredictable. John and Conway may be saying one thing right now before the draft. And then what do you know the next thing when the draft day comes, a trade might occur and it might be a big name like a night youth because where's the 32 million coming from? Although, why would great. you even entertain that number on a podcast and agree with an ex wide so, receiver? So you do realize, uh, Large contracts can be spread out over a long period. You know, listen, they'll be able to afford it. I, I, but that kills us over the years, Bront Rumbo. That's what the 49ers do. How are we going to afford to sign anybody else? Javarius Ward's going to be wanting a new deal. Um, as people mentioned on here, Jamado and Lenore's going to want a deal. <laughs> Who knows about Talanah Hulufunga? And do, Who knows about Aaron, Fred Aaron, Warren's going to want a new deal? Uh, uh, Aaron Banks Aaron is going to want a new yeah. deal. You, can, uh, you know, I don't want to hear, oh, oh, uh, Big Show should be the count in the front row office of the 49ers, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Where is it? Where's the money tree? I'd like yeah. to know where it is. No, it's a, it's a trick with money. Although, over here's the funny thing about it, Show. The 49ers are penalized for paying a player $75,000 over the edge. And I <laughs> Can you imagine you I paid draft. too much money by accident? Who is that player? I'd have him give it back. <laughs> You can draft a younger replacement for Brandon Ayuk should you trade him in a in a Brian Thomas Jr. Sure. Or an Xavier Worthy who are excellent route runners and, sure. and sure. Brian Thomas Jr. Yeah, it's very risky. And both I mean, Xavier Worthy are speedsters. And what if he comes in and he's, they, he's, they match up, you know, so. Yeah, but what if he's another. Trade Debo and the Ravens. There you go. <laughs> just, the Ravens will love it. Thank you, Stephen. You've got to be careful about draft picks. So what if he comes in and he's another Danny? You know, I, man, I. No, not, not those guys. They won't be another Danny. So I, man. Big show, you need to apply for that accounting job. We need you, buddy. <laughs> you know, show, I got to tell you, though, you, you, you got to be careful about quality of your, of your uh, talent because you end up making a mess. You know that, right? Marble, we're already a mess of an organization. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? We're still, you know, do you know we're picked of the four teams that have the highest winning records next year already? The the talent's still what, there. Super Bowl again? Uh, they didn't say anything about Super Bowl. They said the Ravens, uh, the Chiefs, uh, the 49ers, the Lions are in that group, and the Packers as well. I would watch uh, out for the Packers next year, honestly. Uh, I look for the and even the Lions, even though so Dan Campbell screwed up by going on up for fourth down multiple times, I think owners left him <laughs> on that. No mention about <laughs> the Jets, though, and I'm curious about that. So just just prepare yourselves. That's all you got to do. Just prepare yourselves for departures. <laughs> um, so you like to you, you like to dwell on that stuff, though. I don't feel like taking aspirin every few minutes, though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delay yeah. that for a while. Life's not all about. Roses and lollipops and <laughs> wearing the red and gold goggles all the time. So you got to take those blinders off every now and then. <laughs> so, but you never take them off. You keep them on all the time. I mean, I mean, you keep no, off. I, the, take... I mean, you, you, you take off the doom and gloom glasses, and I'll take off the blinders for the joy and happiness. <laughs> we'll take we'll take a week off each, okay? <laughs> I'll see you. I'll, I'll try see you. until I see a ring. That's not going to happen. So I know. Sorry, not sorry. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> yes, and sure. Sam. Shout out to everyone, even the trolls that are using mom's Wi Fi. Take care, <laughs> hit that like and subscribe, <laughs> subscribe button. <laughs> All right, and, take care. And not giving her any money for the bill. Light show. Yeah, you know. See, I, I can't I can't think of a positive about 49ers outcomes. I just can't do it. I just it's just too uncomfortable, you know? Hey, hey, Brian! Forty Niners, red and gold. I'm silently rooting for them Forty Niners till I'm dead and cold. There you go. Don't be Screaming their name all the way down from the mid south because the law says know your role and shut your mouth. What it is, Rumbo? Jimmy, ever they were talking? To, he's talking to you. You know, it's it's like 
I, I don't want to go to the big show's level of, of, of concern and worry. But, Brian, I am thinking about how the 49ers are going to do this because we're, we're getting real expensive. And, you know, we knew that was, when success comes, players that need to be played, and we need them in order to continue the same level of competition that we've been doing. You know, I, it's, 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 it's a very nasty triangle. But uh, are, do you have any concerns about playing, paying Brock Purdy next year and be able to sustain a team? The only concern I have, Rumbo, right now is getting the gold, getting, getting the trophy for the Super Bowl. Yeah. After that, everything else, it'll fall, it'll fall into place. Yeah. But I think the, the one that we have a – I'm just going to put it out there. We, we got a one-year window. We, that last year that started. I just, I was, I just, as far as I was concerned, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but this yeah, but if, but if we play IU, let's say let's let's say IU gets the bag. Let's say he gets it, whatever whatever the number is, whatever like that. Then when Purdy when it's come time to pay Purdy, that team is the 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 the, 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 dy- the dynamics of that team is going to change because because of the salary cap, it's, it's just there's no way, there's no way we can keep have this top heavy team together with these massive salaries. Everybody's getting the bag every year. You know, know. one year it's one year it's you know it's, it's George Kittle. Then the next year it's you know it's um, it's it's Fred Warner. Then the next one is Debo. You know, now this year is supposed to be Ayuk. That's you know, more. you know, Trent came in with the bag. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Trent no. Williams came. He oh. came in with the bag. God, you know. <sighs> so we just, we just, we just, we just waiting for the sands to run out of his hourglass. You know, it's just a matter of time. So, and that's why they didn't have any problem hurting so, Eric Eric Armstead's feelings. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's yep. No, yeah, I mean. It's, it's it's hard to keep the band together now, Rombo. I mean, it's you know it it, it is you know it, it it is what it is, and that's what and because of because of Brock Purdy and his low range salary, that allowed us to go out and give give this person the bag, give that t- the bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when he come, when it comes around for him, when it, when it comes time for and him. And he's going to be playing his little ass you know? off. You just know it. This year, look out for Brock yeah. Purdy. They, think he, they thought he was good last year. Wait till this year. Brock Purdy's going to be terribly mm-hmm. crazy good. I, I can already see that coming. Because yeah. he's now motivated by the fact also, he just started a family. Yeah. Oh, my and, God. And, and, then, and then also, Rumble, I'm going to put this out too. Okay, everybody stop getting excited over – Former players, prospects. You know, what I mean, the Brendan Rice, the Tariq Owens. No, that's just Bill. Um, but that that we that ain't. You know, if if if, if all of them, Frank, even Frank Gore Jr. I mean, it, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I know. Because first of all, uh, I saw Brendan Rice on on Keyshawn Johnson's podcast, yeah. and his idea, he wants to be a he. He's not coming in to be a backup. He wants to be a one. He's See, coming in to be a one. Which, and he ain't gonna be a one know, in San Francisco. Like, so. like his dad, you know, like his dad, you know. Yeah. So that that that's that's not out. We trying to sign Brandon IU. So that's out. That's gonna be out. Where is he gonna where is he gonna fit in it? I you know, and but, but here's the thing about that. I, I like his, his his aspirations, but 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 Rice Jr. is I don't know where he's gonna be a number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's okay, but I, 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 really I didn't see all that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I really don't, you know. And then I think um, Cincinnati, I think they kind of got that same problem too. I think Chase, uh, Chase, their number one. I think that uh, Chase, the receiver, they're saving Higgins, up money for you know T Higgins. T, Jamar, yeah. T Higgins wants a bag, you know. He said, "There's no way." Like, like I saw on uh, I think what they... was that show? Um, the Shannon Sharp uh, Nightcap. Yeah. You know, Shannon Sharp is like, "There's no way you're gonna have two receivers making thirty million a year." Mm. And then a, the quarterback is making fifty. That's ninety. You know. You know what? I got a feeling. Yeah. Didn't they? Didn't they franchise tag T? I think. Think so. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure. But, but anyway, they they're done talking with T, and he is under. Yeah, they franchise T. Yeah. So yeah, 
They're already looking. They got to yeah. pay. They got to pay Jamar. Yeah, but yeah, we can. But, but like I said, we can. We're we're not. We're not getting in the second generation. Yeah, maybe a free agent. You know, and maybe a free agent. You know, you know they might. They might look at CMC, little brother. You know, he's fast. Wide receiver. You know, so, yeah. But but yeah, yeah. I don't know where he's gonna. You know, unless he's gonna do punt returns or something. Unless he mm. can help us out on special teams. Mm. But um, right now, with, with with our roster, it's, it's still too top heavy. Right now, it's not. You know. And like I said with ten picks, there's no way ten guys, ten draft nah, choices gonna make are going to make this team. Th- They'll be better off trading you, if they can pull a trade off in some kind of way to go up and get some Ooh. get a player that they want to look at. Yeah, no doubt about that's it. That's the way I see it. That's it. They might you might keep half those. Right? You five, you can maybe draft five players, but they better be real prospects. The other five can go right. anywhere else. They can go to L.A. or someplace like that, but they're not coming to San Francisco. So right. they might as well get traded. Yeah. But I, but but one thing, but I, I, I would say right now the one thing that's on the up, that's on that, that's a, you know, a shining bright light right now is mm-hmm. that Brock Purdy would now he'll have a off season. He'll yes. have an off season. He'll have all he'll have an off season. He'll under under the tutelage and make sure that you know he's, you know, going to Kyle Shanahan have an off season where he can really immerse himself in the offense, yep. and we should see the results. And work on some 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 sharpness. Uh, he had a few things he yeah. could get better at. I, I I look for Brock Purdy to be just a complete monster this year, actually, because like you said, yeah. he didn't have a chance to work on his game last year. He was rehabbing all off season long. Now he's got and a he, full two yeah. years experience, not full two years, but a year and a half, and he's had time to work on his game. And, he's learned, been there, done that. Look out for Brock Purdy in twenty twenty four. And Kyle Shanahan has got to give. CMC, he's got to incorporate another running back. He cannot run CMC in the dirt. He will not make it. He won't make it. He, he will not make it. At, that, at the rate right now, he's playing 17 games a year. There's no way, you know, and including postseason. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no way. The last you, there's, two years. I mean, there's no way. You, yeah. You're killing them. You he, got it. You know, I, I really love to see somebody else. He got hurt. And toward the middle of the season, he's over there getting rub downs and everything else. And Kyle didn't care. As soon as you ready to go, Kyle, Kyle, man, would you put another running back in the game? Can't you see he needs a break? No, Kyle can't see it. Oh, man. yeah. So, you know, yeah. So, but yeah, that, Brian, that's, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm looking at, Ron. But I hope yeah, we get an yeah. offensive lineman. Please, know, right? please. It's on everybody's wish list. And make him some. And please, can he be good? Not just any offensive lineman. <laughs> Brian, we're going right. to go. Let Top me see you Top shift. Yeah. All right, Brother Rombo. Shout out to you. Shout out to Faithful. Shout Thanks, out man. to Production. The law is out. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> Night, Brian. All right, Rombo. Holly. Right. Looking forward to it. And here comes Debo Samuel's biggest fan. He is Steven. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Fuck Debo. All my homies hate Debo. Nah, honestly. I mean, he was crazy while we had him in his, I guess you could say, in his youth. When, you know, Kyle actually utilized him as a receiver rather than a glorified running back. Uh, I still think I still think he's very linear and one dimensional. Y'all can hate me for it, say whatever. But right now, as it stands, the league does not see him as a one dimensional player. And that is come that, that can come to our advantage if we want to move up in the draft. Which is something I'm hoping the Niners do. Because right now, as it stands, Rombo, as it stands Everyone in the entire NFL still thinks, when they are outside of C.J. Gardner-Johnson, everyone still thinks that Debo can run routes. Debo is our number one receiver. And Debo is an extremely expensive player. And if we're able to trade him, great. Cool. That means we get something better in return. Oh, man. As for, you know, what was said on the last call, and what Shannon Sharp had said, you know, having two high-paid receivers on a team and a high-paying quarterback, that's uh, that's damn near impossible. I mean, we you, we got to be smoking some kind of crap because 
ain't no way that's gonna work. Like, not, there's no way we're gonna do that much money and sink our ships so that we can be like Detroit, still paying Megatron. You know. Uh, <laughs> He's so, been to it, this it, thing. Just, How many years has he been gone? <laughs> well, hey, he's been gone. Steven, when he look, came in the NFL, I was in high school. When he left the NFL, <laughs> I was still in high school. Put it like that. <laughs> hey, but so Steven, listen, so, you got to figure the 49ers are heading that way, too, because when you spread kicking that can down the road, you spread these big payments down uh, over a, a long period of time, restructure. You know how many restructures we got right now? Some of those players are going to be gone. I mean, Shannon and Lynch will be gone and they're still paying people, you know, from, from this regime for years to come. Well, it's going to be like, oh. Like let me put it like this. All the players we have right now that restructured, they want that shit. They want that shit. No, I know. That's what I love. Anybody. I mean, Juice went and so, took a pay cut. That's, that's a, amazing. But here's the double edge. Here's the double, the double side to that, Roma. Here's the double standard. They're willing to do this if they win it this year. If they get another losing season, Robo, I guarantee you they're out. Everyone that restructured, they're out. They're done. They're requesting a trade. They're get, they're gone. Why? Because they wasted so much of their talent, so much of their youth on a team that has burnt them time and time after again. And we as fans feel that. Kyle, I don't know. I think I don't know if he's just stupid or he's playing ignorant. You know, and that's something that I can't I can't stand. I cannot stand that. But. You know, everyone that are restructured their contracts are doing it because they're either one, this is their final year with the Niners, and they want to win that, you know, Super Bowl so that way they can extend it a little bit further, or they restructure, we don't win, and they're gone. You know, so, I actually thought that was going to happen this year. I, but people are restructuring, they're hanging around, they're not ready to leave. I guess we, I got a little reassured about that because I think, what's the attitude now? My God, that's frustrating. What kind of luck, guys? Do you believe this team is is stung? What the hell happened? Why didn't you win yeah, that game? No. It's like, ah. Rumble, Rumble. We had everything made right. Jake Moody missed the kick. Ray Ray McLeod fucked up a, a punt return. Yeah. He could have just fallen the ball. Moody could have hit it down the middle. Yeah. You know? But these are all what ifs. This is the exact same scenario we had the last time we were in the Super Bowl. What if, what if, what yep. if, what if, what if. You know, what else has got to stop coming for us? It is what it it's, is. It's got to happen to the, to the Chiefs at least once. Damn it! Oh, it's I mean, got to happen because they didn't even again, beat. I guarantee you. That's what I'm saying because the Chiefs didn't beat the 49ers. The friggin' 49ers beat the 49ers. I said, but you know what? Why do you guys manage to do that? Oh, not only that, Lumbo, but this is how bad the organization. And, and this is where I got to go ahead and really disagree. I think it was Bill or Phil, whoever came in. Mm. And was like, oh, they're going to draft a kicker in the first round. <laughs> they find it funny. I was like, damn, Bill. Like, was... <laughs> shit. I, I, I feel bad about this season, but I don't think, I don't feel that bad. No, uh, Bill's joking. The Niners want that Super Bowl so damn bad that they hired an assistant coach, they hired an offensive coordinator, two things Kyle did without for almost three years. Since the moment Mike McDaniels left, he has been doing it on his own. There has not been an assistant head coach since the moment Kyle has been in the building. Has anyone noticed that? I haven't seen an assistant head coach. No. It's always been Kyle Shanahan and a coordinator and yeah, they, DC. That's it. Yeah, they, now they, they it, sweep him up immediately, and Kyle says, "Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead." Yeah. 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 Now it's Kyle, assistant, offensive coordinator. We want that win. We want to keep going. We want to extend that. You know. That six Lombardi. We want to keep going beyond that. They, they're trying to amass a giant empire, and it's crazy because the fact that Dred York is now the principal owner of the 49ers is a little crazy mm -hmm. because his mom was pretty much the main principal uh, holder. Yeah, I know. And now it's finally passed on to Jed, which some people are like, ah, I'm a little weary about it. However, he's only, how do I put it? He's like the puppet to the organization. He's the puppet to the organization. He's the face. He talks. He says what he needs to say, and then he dips. Yeah, now that he's the main person, he yeah. actually has a full. He actually has a full hand in it now. Yeah, but Eddie D's sister, she, she pretty much told Jed, Jed, listen, I'm washing my hands of this whole matter. Just run the team how you see fit. And also, and Jed's probably said, my, my mom, can I change? Can I change titles? I don't know that that's necessary. They may give people the wrong impression. Oh, come on, ma. 
<laughs> I bet you know because he didn't have to pay any money. See, they just got a point. And all of a sudden, they talked about it for a couple of days, and all of a sudden, Jed's the man now. You know, because the dad wants nothing to yeah. do with either one of them. You know, he comes because you know how how what's the dad's name again? How he, remember how he shows up all of a sudden every now and then when things get really out of hand, like he did. Was that year before last? And shakes everybody up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Dad good. is the only one and it's crazy because that's how it always is, man. Dad whenever shit hits the fan, dad steps in and everyone straightens up. Yeah. Yeah. So when mom can handle dad steps in and straightens up. Yeah. But overall, Rombo, uh we we should be okay. We should be okay. We got ten draft picks. I do agree with the last caller saying that we got way too many. Yeah. That's that's a whole front roster right there. There's Eleven players yeah, to yeah, draft. You, there's a point and bringing so, them in just if anything, them. I would trade well, I mean, I would trade up. I would trade up. Get well, rid, if I have to, trim down some to. of the roster too, and get rid of Guaranteed. Danny Gray because I know he's still, <laughs> I know he's still with us. And I'm sorry, Gray, bro. You you had so much potential. However, I mean, I think we still have Wes Welker as our uh, receivers coach, which I think is cool because wait, 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 wait. If there's no, one person, Stephen, Wes Welker left with uh, Mike McDaniel. He's over in Miami. Am I tripping? Oh yeah, yeah, shit! You're definitely Who's tripping. With us now? That's a good question. Oh, I'm not sure because we change him so often. He may not even be the same guy as he was last year. I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, man. you know, what receivers coach. Well, anyway, who's the receivers coach? That's a trivia question for anybody. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, the, where I was going with that is I see Ronnie Bell doing well. Uh, I see him getting rid of that, you know, the butterfingers that he has yeah. and actually doing pretty damn well for himself because he wants to play. You know who else wants to play? Who? Jordan Mason. Oh, yeah, Mason. really that wants man, to play. And should ready. have been allowed to. Elijah Mitchell? Elijah Mitchell is ready to kind of walk out. He's like, okay, you know, I'm not getting any reps. McCaffrey's getting all of it. And, you know, Elijah Mitchell's too hurt. And so I, I was going to say, because that's the problem. Yeah. Another running back if we have to. Hey, you know, I would say hey, go hey. after another running back and get someone who's a stud. Steven, Steven, guarantee you, the, uh, somewhere in his draft, they will pick up a running back on a wide receiver. Red this is what they know? unnecessarily do. See, we got to go though. Yeah. Let me, let me, uh, I'll see you Sunday and Easter Sunday if you, if Rumble. it'll be in the evening. So if you got time, Rumble. Mm -hmm. if I see you on Sunday, hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping you can do a show on Monday because Monday is when baby girl is here. Oh, that's right. You're, you're, you're waiting for that moment. That's right. Okay. Yep. Well, so good luck with that. Sunday, Hope I'll be able to do it. But I'm praying you do a Monday show, a Monday night right, raw now. show. Money's gonna be a little problem. You know what? I'll, let me let me let me see if I can slip things around and see if I can make that happen. All right, <laughs> all right, Tony. Meantime, <laughs> all right, and, and 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 good luck with the little little baby. A new addition to the Tony St Stephen family. All right, fam. All right, you take care. Have a good night. Too, Stephen. Good night. Hey, let's let's go check it. Hey, Michael. Hey, Rumble. How's your night going, buddy? Uh, concerned. We're concerned about what's going to happen. We got to, you know, I wasn't trying to think about it, but well, when we, it's going to happen. I mean, I understand the last guy said, you know, with all those draft picks, I would try to do a patch deal, trade like couple up, move up, get a couple guys, and I'll trade maybe a first. Or not a first. I would trade, you know, a second and maybe, I don't know, a player or something to move up. Yeah. You know, we're going to draft off the line. Too, too many picks. We're going to do with all of them. Oh. You know, half of the picks that we got. Yeah, either A, red shirt or B, get rid of them. Yeah, they're definitely going to be currency. You know? You're not to keep all those guys. Yeah. No, I think it's too much. I think what I would do is package some up or go after a good player and maybe trade some of those picks, you know? Maybe go after Simmons of the Broncos. You know? Simmons, Simmons is a free agent. Like, you talking, talking about that safety? Oh, free agent? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all right, yeah, so then you know what? Yeah, Simmons, apparently. Or oh, they're, oh, they're waiting for when he gets desperate and really wants to play. I mean, this is a game you play with certain yeah. players every year. So, so, hey, yo, bro, you ain't signed up yet. We got three weeks before the season starts. What are you going to do? Listen, here's what I'm going to do. I'll yeah. offer you this. And Simmons says, okay. <laughs> you know, they can maybe get him that way. <laughs> I got a lack of Brian Smith. Oh, the first round draft for kicker. Uh, last time a kicker was drafted, I think the first round, I think it was that Polish kicker from the Raiders. Or Florida State, I think he was a first round draft pick. Yeah. Uh, remember that ball headed guy that used to kick with the Raiders? Yeah. Um, you know, the guy from Florida State, the, Pol oh, the Polish guy, Jankowski. Yeah, yeah. Jankowski. He was a yeah, first round draft pick. I'm trying to think of, yeah. Uh, what year was that? Yeah. 
The dude had. Yeah, he, the dude had. Bald, a leg. He was bald headed. Yeah. I know. He had he, a leg. He was a pole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he kicked good for the Raiders. He did good with the Raiders. He kicked good. I mean, the kind of like, like you find a guy like that, it's so hard in the first round. It's so hard. And you're taking a big risk. Big risk. Drafting a kicker in the first round. No, That's the risk of. Bill was kidding. <laughs> Nobody's gonna. Nobody else is gonna do that except for the Raiders ever again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did but no, I think the Forty Nine ers the best thing to do is yeah, go after that offensive line. I like, I like that guy Ed Simmons from Georgia, or that guy from Arizona is good. Mm. Brian, one thing though, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Michael. No, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> no, I mean, I was, I was looking at the, the, the chat. Uh, you've you've got we got to sign a, a lot of money for uh, Colin Cowherd. You know how he Ayuk is. Ayuk is the main thing. Ayuk is, Ayuk is the main key. We got to sign. We got to put the money in his pocket. Yeah, we got to give him the money. Well, That's listen, the Ayuk, his what he's getting is going to be pale in comparison to what we're going to have to pay Brock Purdy. How what impact do you think that's going to have on the team going forward, though? Because already it's start, starting to cause a ripple effect. I think. I think. With Brock, I think he's going to try to do a thing that when he has to get paid, would probably say, all right, you know, do these guys some more, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I think Brock is going to do something. You know, take your pay cut or he'll do something. I don't know. He looks like a type of guy that might. Well, not in the first contract. I don't know. That, uh, Maybe the second. Yeah, in the first contract. Maybe the second. I don't know. See, that's a, I mean, we got to definitely sign that you, and we also got to think of Brock because Brock is the key of the, you know, the ship. We got to send that quarterback. If we don't sign him, we're going to be screwed. A lot of teams will be after him. <laughs> no, the quarterbacks are hard to come by. Yeah, I mean, yeah. think of it. Out of like, thirty-two teams, mm -hmm. I mean, about thirty-two teams. What percentage of you think are worth a damn? I mean, yeah. And I heard another rumors too about the Cardinals trading their quarterback to Minnesota and moving up in the fourth pick or moving up in the draft. Or do something. I don't know. Clickbait. I heard rumors. It's, it's clickbait. I heard. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't heard it. Somebody told me about it. No. Nah, I said I, I won't believe it until I don't believe it until I see it. And I know the Rams are going to screw up the draft. But I know the Rams will screw up. Are the Rams are going to be. Jim, you got to respect. Yeah. They're going to. They're going to. They're going to draft a quarterback. Rams. They're one of four teams oh, that are pretty yeah. much guaranteed to draft a quarterback. Because no matter what, they can't keep playing Stafford that much money and have a team. Talk about us with that problem. They've oh, had that problem for a while now, ever since everybody left. Oh, thank you, 49er Brian, for protecting my daughter after Jim Everett was trying to bully her and threaten all that stuff. Thanks, she, man, what, because she was, was she, crying. Yeah. Was she in the chair? Jim Everett, yeah, she made her cry. Wait, wait, she was she in the wasn't there, and she was standing there. Yeah, and I guess Jim Everett was talking and all Jim, that thing. Jim stuff, Everett, what, uh, don't, Jim Everett, let me catch you, man. I'm telling you, I I told you about women, Jimmy. And, he had, I guess he had, <laughs> and then he, I guess, had a couple of the Rams fans go on her Twitter account and all that stuff and say mean things about her post. I said, just ignore them. 49er Brian, Tony Wright, and Rombo were protected. Don't be yeah. afraid of them. No, no, and no, they should no, respect no, other no, girls. I, I, it's less than a man. Less than a man to go around yeah. attacking women. You guys suck. You really do. Hey, by the way, uh, Jim Everett, you and your, and your nephew or your niece tribe, uh, you guys are a package deal. So if I get rid of what, both one of you, both of you, God, just know that. Because I'm wondering if, if you guys are one of the same person. They were messing with the woman's church. Whatever the other girl that was over. Guys are low. Yeah, they were messing with her. You know, Ram anyway. Ramera and all that. She's not, yeah. But no, I can't wait for the draft in a couple of weeks. I'll say another month. It should be a month, about a month it's coming up. I can't wait. I'll be sitting on the Bluetooth watching it, taking notes. I bet your Big Show will be taking notes, grading each pick. I think that's <laughs> Big Show. Yeah, I mean, hey. That's a big, big show. Big Show should go to the NFL draft. I want to see. No, no, no. We want to see Big Show smile next year. We got to win it next year, no matter what. God, the show is. I want to I see a 49er sign him on, you know, let him be the draft pick. Let him pick the players. Let him be the. No, no, know, no, 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 no. I love show, no? but I don't know if I want him doing that. Show will get rid of everybody on the <laughs> team just for a draft pick. <laughs> nah, that's good. Well, you wouldn't do that, bro. You wouldn't. I mean, I'm, and I understand you don't want to draft family-related players like Price or something, but, you know, one of, I don't want to see them going to the Rams or the Seahawks. you got to think of that. I don't want to face Jerry well, the son. Who? You know, if he's on another you know, team. Oh, well, the legacy babies? Oh. 
I yeah, don't, I don't want to be fake no okay. guys. I'm afraid that, you know, okay, listen, listen, gonna be listen, like, you know. Mike, hold on just a second. Have you went and watched clips on oh. any of these guys? Rice's son, I did. And What's I watched um, Frank Dwarf's son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, watched McCaffrey, uh, brother. Yep. Okay. I, I, I didn't Not think they much. were that much above average. Well, but you know what? Oh, I, maybe they're be- they may have a better game in the pros. I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. All right. uh, out of all of them, which one would you go for? I think I would like to be maybe Jerry Rice's uh, son. I like him from Southern well, Cal. Yeah, well, the fruit doesn't fall too far. No, no, no. Yeah, but then you got to have to trade one of your receivers because he doesn't want to be number two or number three. You got to be the top dog. You know, he wants to be the chief. No, right. like, I mean, you know, don't. Don't want to oh, be man, I, I understand. I respect them. I respect Rice's son. If he wants to be number one like his father always was with the Niners, I understand. Yeah. I respect that. You know? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go, Michael. I mean I, I, I'll see you Sunday and, and see what it'll be it'll be evening after everybody's done the, the Easter Sunday thing. Yeah. So you're right. Time, right? Um, uh, thank you for that, Brian, and you shut up to everybody in the forty nine Empire. Thanks, ma'am. And uh, have a great thank evening. You, have a good day. Uh, all right, Mike. You too, Robert. Happy Easter to you and your nice. family. Thanks, ma'am. And same to you. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, friggin' Rams trolls, leave Sharice alone. I'm not going to continue to tell you idiots to knock it off. I'm serious. Hey, hey, yo, Ellis. Well, I'm busy. Ellis, man, you know, I, w- I didn't want to think about it, but it is something that's going to have to hit us. Reality is... That's a lot of money to pay the quarterback. We've not done that since Kyle and John got here. You know what? Are we going to uh, survive that and keep good players? <laughs> it, it, it is a concern. I wish people wouldn't call attention to it. Every time, every now and then somebody says, when Brock Purdy gets paid, the 49ers will then have to deal with the same issues that most teams with Super Bowl, I mean, with superstar quarterbacks have to deal with. <laughs> I said, no, we won't. <laughs> yeah, we will. What do you think, Ellis? Ellis? So, okay. I can hear you now. It sounds like you cut out. Man, oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's 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 crazy because if we if we if we go that high and pay Brock fifty million a year, I mean we get we, realistically we get one one defensive player, one wide receiver, and the quarterback, and then everybody else is going to have to be either you know rookie contract ish kind of guys or low cost. You know, know. Um, merry minimums. It's it's gonna be one of those kind of situations. If if we like like honestly, I think D, this Debo last year. I think Debo gets traded after this season. I think this will be his last year with us. Hey, how many years left on his contract? I thought he signed three. So one, well, I, to my understanding, would this be the? Third, would this would now be the third year on that contract? I'm not sure. Or would it be the second? Yeah, Somebody this, might know. No, you're right about number year three coming up, though. So, No, no. Last year was the first year. Yeah. Because he signed it the year before. Yeah. So I'm looking at the dead cap. And okay. I'm wondering how bad a damage that would be. I was thinking about that. So, you know, yeah. we, don't, we don't want to be like the Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos would be paying that fine. The rest of their natural lives. <laughs> Ninety-five million dollars. Are you crazy? Ooh. For two for God. two seasons. Damn. Russ whoop Russ whoop Russ whooped they ass, man. <laughs> he not, whooped them. He whooped they ass. Took all their money. That was crazy. I'm surprised for they two seasons. Losing seasons at that. I know, right? I wonder if a team's is it possible to bankrupt a team? Damn, Russ. You damn near kill the Broncos. Right. Made it easier so that he only got paid a million with the with you know with the Steelers. Like I can't wait for to see how that happens. Shit. Yeah. Shit, Justin Fields' salary gonna be more than Russ's in twenty twenty four. You but nobody else can <laughs> Hey, ooh, I could kick you know what, you're right. I could kick Russie to the curb next year and just get Justin and get 
a minimum quarterback behind him. And Rusty and the Broncos were saying, I thought you guys were going to keep him. Now we have to assume the rest of his – oh, come on. Yeah, I get, you know, you wonder how much goes on between these owners. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't happen to a but, better bunch I of don't... guys. <laughs> look, man, I, look, I'm not, I'm not mad. I just don't want Brock to turn into this – to this money hungry diva, you know, um, you know, you, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna use no obscenity because he's a good, he's a good kid. I'm just saying, I don't want him to turn money hungry, man. Like, you know, like Kirk Cousins, you know, he's won one playoff game and he's made, you know, what, <laughs> close to 400 million or something like that. <laughs> he's made me. 400 million dollars or something like that. <laughs> I mean, that's. That's I'm impressed. Fucking absurd. It is ridiculous. Yeah, I, no, look, I ain't mad at him. That's just uh, it's just un unbelievable to win one playoff game and make that much money. But he did he 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 worked it the way that he was supposed to to his benefit. So I'm not mad at that. But that's not something that I want us to be having to do. And obviously Brock Purdy's won more playoff games in two seasons than Kirk Cousins has in his entire NFL career. So what the what the hell does that say? Um you know, but but I just don't want Brock to turn into that. So if if he can give us, I know he wants to have more players on the team. I don't think Brock is going to be trying to go crazy like that. But he is going to get paid, and, and deservingly so. He's he's played, uh, you know, he's played exceptionally. He's been uh, one hell of a, a, a leader, and he's such a humble and good kid. You know, he he deserves to get paid. I just don't want us to have to, like I said, be um, limited in what we can build when it comes to the team. And uh, but you know, these the last few drafts we've been kind of coming up short. I mean, you know, we haven't we haven't really seen any we haven't seen anything out of Drake Jackson. We we haven't seen anything out of um, you know uh, uh, what's his Javon, name Robert uh, Beal Jr. Mm-hmm. Well, he, uh, I understand there's good reports coming out on him. Javon Kinlaw is gone. Uh, yeah, Danny Danny Gray is is making everybody mad. Um, I, you know what? It, it, it's it's yeah. just a, I don't know. Especially some top. Ty Davis match. Price, Trey Sermon. Oh, lost both know, of them. Trey Lance. Oh my God. Uh, you know, I'm just saying all these players and stuff. Big that, that there's been a lot of whiffing going on, and these are key positions where we. Have to end up paying these positions yeah. at a high ticket price, especially mm-hmm. with the edge, and uh, you know even the cornerback position. I think that's the that's what we've been most um, lucky with is at least and we and we only realistically we just got one good corner, you know, in, in Diamador Lenore. He and, actually and he was supposed to be. be. Ambry Thomas was supposed to. That's, no. what, that's what's so amazing about that. <laughs> and Ambry's yeah, making D- Demo, people Demo weak too. was a fifth round. Demo was a fifth round pick and Amory was a third. Mm, from what I second. understand, if I'm was not, it, if I'm I thought Amory was second bro, round. Was Amory third? Uh, you it, might be right. The third and fifth. One of them is fifth, and one of them is a third. Either okay. or, I could be wrong. On no, the no, order. no. Demo is definitely but I, fifth. From what I understand, Amory's three. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, we got lucky with one player, but we we have to hit this draft. That's what I'm most concerned about because we're building for the future. Um, there's a lot of guys we're not that aren't going to be on this team in the next two, three seasons, and we have to have guys to fill in the blank. You know, um, I wouldn't be surprised if George Kittle stayed with us, but I think George Kittle's going to want another payday. He'll probably, he's probably got another four, five seasons left in him. You know, what I mean, if he if he, you know, can continue to, you know, have um, not get as much wear and tear on his body, but because he blocks so much mm. and stuff like that, I mean mm. you. You would think that if he's doing more blocking and less pass, less catching, less passes upfield, that it will preserve his less body. Injury. But that's a lot of that's a lot of strain on his knees, on his body, um, his, you know, his lower his lower legs and stuff like that. You, well, know, you know, going up against a lot of defensive linemen and edge and True, yeah. blocking well, upfield and stuff. So, Ellis, you're aware of the fact that George had uh, core surgery, uh, him and Chavarius, uh this year. Him, Tavares, Ward, yeah. right. Yeah, so that, that's I'm just saying, you know, George may still be around, but it's a possibility that he's not. Now, George is definitely going to be around if Cameron Latu and in in uh, uh, the other kid was is it Jordan Willis? No, that's not Jordan Willis. That was a defensive tackle we used to have. 
What the we hell got, is his name? Um, that that other tight end. We got we got Latu and who? Um, What's his name? We got rid of anyway. The kid, the kid from Oklahoma. Oh, kid from Oklahoma. If them boys ain't ain't, ain't about to do shit, because we just got that guy from the Lions and we paid him a pretty penny. But I, I, you know, that tells you something right there. They're, they're not putting a lot of stock in who the draft picks again. Latu exactly. So those were wasted. So those were wasted ball. draft picks. Yep. Well. Yeah. I, it's kind of lackluster, Bo. I'm not impressed. He was a third round pick. We mm. could have got his ass in the fifth or sixth round. From, <laughs> right. If I'm that, being honest, honest we could have got him in the fifth or sixth. We do that Man, all the that time. Man, was, that was just. A, it, 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 we're doing it too often. So this time around, that is key. This is the most pivotal draft. Every year. We've had in the Shanahan era after, hit, after all of the misses and the minimal hits that we've been getting. We've just been thankful to be able to keep a core of some higher paid and quality players on the team. And then we had a few sprinkled, you know, uh, low-cost guys in there. But we haven't been hitting in the draft enough to replenish what it is that we're going to be needing down the future uh, of the team, considering we got Brock coming up with a major payday. You know, he's going to be one of the highest-paid quarterbacks in, in NFL history. You know, that, that's, that, that's the, the status quo is, you know, we want to make guys the highest-paid player uh, highest paid player at their position mm. in the, in the you know in, in the, the NFL, yeah. which right right. So that's that's spooky. You know what I mean? Because we don't really know what that's going to lead when it comes to everybody like. else. So not well. Well, you know, <laughs> first contract. I see Brock actually. I don't know how long he's going to be with us. I see him leaning toward pay me this. I'm fine. I right, let's get some players so we can go win. I, he he looks like that kind actually. That's yeah, like have. 40, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 30, 30, you know, between, you know, between the 37 and 40 or, you know, under 45 or something, yeah. but not 50, you know, because yeah, no, no. 50 you is crazy. 40. 40 and give him incentives that make him up, take him up to 45 with the knees and he, he'll be fine, I would think. Exactly. But we got to yeah, roll I'm, up. I'm we got to roll I'm up. I'm good there. with that. We got to roll. I'm gonna tell you, I'll be back Sunday. You, you, you probably got the squad with you all day Sunday, do you? No, not this week, man. I've been having them, and uh, so they're going to be gone, you know, this week. Maybe, maybe okay, on so Sunday, but it won't be in the evening when we do the show. But it's all, all good. Right, all right, I'll, st- I'll still be there. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be in the house. I'll see you Sunday then. All right, fam. Yes, sir. <laughs> Have a good appreciate night, you, also. fam, as always. Thank you for the I platform. I always appreciate you. You know this. All right, fam. Thanks. Sh- shout out shout out production, man. Shout out Papa D. Uh, shout out Tony, Tony Tone. Shout out Evan. Shout out Don uh, Tanisha. Shout out Frank. Um, man, y'all y'all know what it is, man. Shout out Emilio and uh and yeah. Bethel, yeah. Uh, all y'all, man. Shout out to chat. Y'all know what it is, man. Peace right. and love. Yeah. Hey, I got you, fam. That Ellis. Slow life. Yes, sir. And I see the big show says, uh, "Can you ask Stephen if he watched Nightcap Pod? Uh, does he think Ayuk's trying to price himself out of San Francisco? Why would he agree with a figure of thirty-two million? You know. So I I think he. There's no, there's no way Ayuk wasn't. He was trying to stay away from some sensitive things. You could actually tell in his conversation and some of the uh, things he said back to the guys as they were asking their questions and saying things. And he kept saying things like, "Well, I'm, I'm not going to get into all that," but and he'd say something else, you know. So let, let, let's think. Ayuk is. Uh, I think he wants to stay with the 49ers. He didn't sound hostile. Had it been Debo two years ago? No, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them another week to give me my money or talk to me about something. I'm gone. <laughs> Debo gonna was, get paid. It's just the middle ground. Yeah, not for sure. That's it. You hear that show? Yeah, because some guys are, are really hostile. He's remaining relatively calm. I, I, I can't. He didn't wash his walls down. Uh, his his ladies getting nuts, but they always do that when they get it. Social media. That's what you have to do with social media. And with this particular generation, whatever your feelings are, I got to post it up. Now, who the hell they think they're messing with? I'm going to get my money. And my home's you. Okay. Hey, 49er Brian. Hey, 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 Rombo. How's it going, man? It's going all right, Brian. I'm just looking toward the future, and I thought about, you know, we ought to, we ought to examine that and see get a temperature off of what the 49er fans are thinking about we got to pay a big salary next year. We've been having a good time. Our, our quarterback wasn't getting paid any money. Hell, we probably know some people are getting paid more than Brock Purdy. And I said, you know, now uh, 
He's got to get paid like every other good quarterback in the NFL. Are we going to be able to still look the same body-wise with all the blue-chip talents we got? I mean, the 49ers may have more big-ticket players than anybody in the league. As we noticed in the Pro Bowl that we didn't attend, we stocked that Pro Bowl. We had a lot of guys on that Pro Bowl team. So, you know. Are you yeah, we were half the NFC. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, what do, you, do you have any concerns about that? I mean, are you, do you trust our organization to keep us afloat, to keep us on the level of the water where we can ride with some speed and get to where we're going? A little over dramatic. Rombo, you know I, I, mean. I am not worried about any of that. You know why? How come? Because I heard Jed Rourke just approved Big Show for the new accountant job. So we're fine. <laughs> Can you see Big Show? And Big Show, you get you get all kinds of perks, buddy. You get to go to games for free. You get to tell those guys how they can spend money on, and you know that you can't do this and you can't do that. To, you know, not too many parties. You got to keep all those in check. Accountant has Big a show, all that responsibility. You're in charge. That is, yeah. Man. Okay, and, 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 and hey, shout out to Steven and having a baby. That's awesome. Congrats. Yeah, it's, it's due anytime now. Could be this weekend. Because we're talking already Friday, Saturday, Sunday, somewhere between now and Monday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have so, the next couple of minutes. What? So oh, oh, if, oh, if oh. he has a boy, if he has a boy, is he going to name it uh, Big Show or 49er Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Got to come up with a girl name. <laughs> it's a girl name. A <laughs> girl name. There's no, well, there's no, there's no, there's no girl name coming off of, of either one of you guys' name. Brianna, Brianna. I always like that Brianna, name anyway. There you go. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Rombo, name. first of all, let me say happy Easter to you and your family a little thank bit so ahead much. of time. Okay. Yeah, well, happy Easter to you too and your family. Thank you. Well, thank you. And uh, hey, also, uh, just to spoil all the, the chat, you know, the the chumps like tribe and. Chrissy Everett and uh, and fake Amelia Sports whatever short sports <laughs> and uh, who all, all that Zerper that Ravens trash <laughs> get out of our ch- our chat you chumps what's wrong with you people you guys are just what do you got it's Friday night go out and have fun why they, you got to trash on our chat they they, they don't have you guys are clowns and you know it. They have no place to and, go. And Robbo, it's my birthday today, man. Oh, my birthday. Well, wait, 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 It is time once again. It's I'm 49 49er. today. Brian, are you serious? How did you get any better no, than that? I'm lying. Happy, I'm lying. What do we got to do it anyway? Happy 90's birthday to Big Brian. Happy 90's birthday. Two forty nine to be happy. Nine. Thank you. <laughs> Birthday, Brian. It's too bad we're not about to play the Super Bowl again. So, Brian, this Super Bowl is dedicated to you on this birthday date. But, Brian, you know, Rumble, I'm not worried about all this hate and all this. I'm, I'm starting to get a little annoyed with Brandon Ayuk, just a little bit. Well, you know he's. But, He's not as bad as Debo as far as making a lot of noise. No, no. At least he's still talking. Like, uh, I think Jed York came out and said they're having a lot of conversation, or, or Lynch did, and said they're yeah, having a lot of Yeah, there's already open dialogue between them. It was a, yeah. With Debo, the 49ers just got so pissed off. You know what? I'm not, let's not even talk to him. Don't even acknowledge his madness. Let's just sit back and, and let him play that out, and we'll get back, we'll get back to him when he calms down. See, yeah, this, and you really think he wants to go anywhere else and play for some other team? I don't no, think so. No, I don't think so. He just wants yeah. to make clear that he's not going to be uh, just content with just not getting anything and, and not hearing from you till August. And so the 49ers, and I, less I don't Debo. think I think they're going to pay him fairly, and I think he should just stop whining. I'm getting tired of all the back and forth, and you know, I can't stand Ocho Punko or uh. Well, see, Guess we should get mad at so Brian. Sharp. I can't yeah. stand these guys. <laughs> yeah, not so oh, well. I used to like Shannon Sharp yeah. too. Lately, he's done ever since he joined Stephen A. Smith, he's becoming a jerk. He really is. He, oh. All last season, he was hey. like, Shannon. What happened to you? I used to like you. Now you're know. pissing he's... me off all the time. You know, uh. I saw him on TV. He was coming off like a off the airplane, and he had a, a like a man purse and a little doggy, oh. and I was like. 
What are you doing, oh, Shannon? Man. What is oh, up with man. that? You used to be the man's man. A dog? A little uh, doggy in a purse? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, hey, thank you, Big Show. Thank you for the birthday the greeting there. Thank you, yeah. man. I know I pick on you a lot, but, dude, I got nothing but respect for our 49er family, and I might pick on Ellis, and I might pick on, you know, Jalen and Big Show and Steven, but I still uh, love you guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, so. don't forget uh, uh, the, the uh, what uh, comes in early, oh, chill pill Phil. Phil, you know. Yeah, Phil's a man. Yeah. Actually, oh, wait, you and Phil are pretty much on the same page. Uh, yeah. Phil loves to um, work, he likes to work Rambo, Big Show, too. I really think this draft is going to be amazing, don't you? How come? I think it's just going to I cuz that offensive line has to get better. They got to they got to get some off, that's all I'm worried about, you know. Yeah. Really is if we don't get some offensive line going, I don't I don't want to see Purdy get hurt, you know. No no well, yeah, I want to be able to make plays as well. We're going to see some yeah. it's going to be fun this year for this draft cuz you know the 49ers are going to draft up. They don't need all those picks. Well, why waste those kids no. now? Picking them into camp just so you can cut them. No, what? we don't need camp bodies. We need to use them as assets to move along to get that offensive lineman that somebody screwed up and didn't get. And, we, you know, you're not going to get anything above 18. I would, And that's a modest one. We're not going to get anything above 18 unless you start, start talking about picks for next year to trade to the team. But, uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm just excited, and I, I – like I always tell you, every year our team's getting better, and I just think it's going to be better than last year. I just feel like it's going to be because I think our defense is going to be better with Wilkes gone, and there's not going to be any more back and forth on what kind of defense should we call, you know? No back and forth with Shanahan, and and uh, I think he's going to be on better page with his defense and what they want to do, and I just – I just think we're going to be a better team, really, Rombo. People yeah. are going to laugh at me, and I don't care. No, no, no. I, don't, you, I, I just think no, it'll no, be no, better. You're, you're in the right path because it look, I'm looking at the quarterback situation, and Brock Purdy is already that good after a year and a half of football. I, I can't wait till he matures. I want to know what is he going to develop into because Brock Purdy, for all intents and purposes, I, I have no shame in saying this, he could be one of the great ones because you don't look like that at his age coming in in a pro situation, and start doing those kind of things. It just doesn't happen unless you're legit. And, you know, it's it's a good thing we're not Rams fans or Ravens fans because, God, <laughs> they're just a bunch of oh, – look at those teams. They, they they can't do anything. They're just a bunch of chumps. The organization starts with, starts with the top to the bottom. If you've got the, the uh, wrong thing going on upstairs, then you're going to have problems all the way down the line. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I agree. But That's why I respect the Seahawks. Bravo, I really do. I hate to admit it, but the Seahawks oh. run a pretty tight ship. Um, they will—they're not going to stay down for a long time. They'll—they'll they'll nah. be back soon. I give another year. And shout out to Tony Wright. I hope your your, I hope your Falcons destroy everybody in your division. I know it's going to happen. You got your team is going to be unstoppable. I, I think with a certain it's going to be ease. cool to watch. Yeah. Yeah, the Saints. Yeah, yeah, and uh, no. we're just watching the steady decline of the Rams more and more every day, and I'm loving it. That's why they're in our chat because they know they're hurting. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. Yeah. And, oh and, my and gosh! Again, for every opportunity, if we can finally squeak out a win. I mean, they got they did win the one that counted. Well, you know, I oh, I, yeah. I don't know how you stay proud the of that. One that the one that did barely beat our backups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they all no, no, you guys about, are so I'm talking tough. about the NFC Championship game. I got I got a um, quarterback out there with yeah, a bad hand. Two, I got no right ago. side offensive lineman, <laughs> and they got away finally yeah. by three points. Well, I said, you know what, you guys, it was your year, wasn't it? If I got a right side offensive yeah. lineman, if I got Garoppolo fully healthy, Garoppolo owns the Rams. Like I, man, it's 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 just cut and cut dry with him with them, but not that day because of the fact of that's fine. They got their little one more championship to claim two in seventy years. Good for you, Rams. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, pathetic. Ah, I don't care. Yeah, all I care about is my 49ers. And uh, I want to wish the whole family uh, a happy Easter. And uh, I love all, all you guys, my 49er faithful, and Rombo Sports, and everybody in the chat. That's the Niner. You guys are awesome. Shout out to Ray Jr. Shout out to Big Show. Shout out to Nikita and her pops, and uh, Tony Wright, and uh, Chris Hansen. I don't know where you've been, brother, but. 
Wow. All these Rams Chris, fans are talking crap about you Chris that you're not here. I know you're probably just busy or something, but yeah. 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 yeah, and they're just they're just hating on you because you're not here. They have nothing better to do, so yeah, well, yeah. that's what so, losers do. So. <laughs> but Brad. hey, everybody, have a good night, and I'm gonna head out because uh, I'm gonna go uh, celebrate. So you, well, I'll be good. Should. I won't All drink right. and drive. You just don't wake up. <laughs> don't wake up in a gutter, though. You know, a lot of times guys oh, forget God, where the no. car is or whatever, yeah. and they're laying out in the street. Butt naked. Don't go to that yeah. scene. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to the club, but I'm going to be a good boy. <laughs> there you go. Brad, happy birthday. All right, you guys. You all take care. Have a good uh, night. You too. All right, Brad. All right. Bye. Marketing Pro, I I, I believe it. Marketing Pro is one of the Ram fans I do respect. You know what? I got to feel that he's right. The young Montana's running around parading as a Rams fan. No, what am I saying parading? Because he's not a 49er fan. Now he's going to have multiple accounts as a Rams fan. There's there's certain guys that just are special. We just hey, we just did that. Brian acknowledged that. Oh here, bring him in. Yo, oh oh, Jalen. <laughs> uh, you know I was going to come in and do the Cardinals all the y'all are relevant. Yeah. I just ain't got this. I, I just, <laughs> you know they you know you know they. I mean, I'm deep. just like what Brandon and I used to say the other day, Ron. But I just feel kind of feel like a zombie sometimes that day. I mean, Rombo, that man said it took him last week to his birthday in Cabo to where he finally was able to snap somewhat out of it. And that was his first Super Bowl loss. Imagine yeah. how Debo, Kittle, uh, Fred Warner, Armstead, Hargrave, all those guys, this is their second. Imagine how they still feel. Now, I don't, I'm curious as to what this morale is going to be going into this new year, Rombo. I was talking like, about that weeks like, ago. I was worried about that, too. Rombo. That man said he felt like a zombie for like more than a month. I I just oh, don't know dude. what kind of attitude. Well, Jalen, picture that for a minute. It's you. You just got through going through that 17, for the second season in a row, you went long into the season. You got to go back uphill again. I, I'm just wondering what you're like. The morale question is really one that really bothers me on occasion. Do I come back oh, in with the same drive this year? It's the two NFC championship losses in between there. That's what makes it work. Like, if we were to just lose the Super Bowl, miss it, miss it one year, then go back. But it's the fact that we went and we lost those two NFC championships barely. It, it, uh, it, uh, it was just, we didn't expect it to be this hard to get back there, Rombo. Like, it took a lot to get back there. But they did it. They did it three times, though. They got in position three times. So I'm, I'm thinking, Forty Nine. Are they gonna keep that gusto? Y'all feel still good, feel good about your chances? Come on now, don't give up. You can do it one more time. I don't know. I hope so. I want to be. I want to be real. I don't know how this team can get physically. I don't know how this team physically can get better than what it was last year. Now maybe some guys can develop more mentally and get better, like younger guys, but you ain't going to get nothing better than what you got on, on that field, like, physical-wise. Like, Kate, I'm, man, nah, dog. That, because all of our best players are getting older now, Rombo. That yeah. Player, you know, so you you can't say that they're a better version of themselves. I mean, they're getting older now. But mentally, that might make him want to fight harder. I, one will compensate for the other, I'm hoping. But you got to keep some young young talents around them. And I'm not. I'm hoping we have, because we were top-heavy last year. We need some youngsters that could come in and fill that void and look good doing it. Jair Brown is one example. I really like him. Uh, I don't know about Luter. I haven't seen enough of him yet. Beal, they say good things about him. Uh, there's a few guys here and there, but not many. Kyle's not. No, 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 no. We have the guys, Rombo. Kyle's not playing them. He doesn't trust them. What do you Rombo, do to get you Kyle's You mean trust? to tell me Jordan Mason isn't a, a baller? I was thinking about him too. Every time he gets the ball, he does something good. Almost every time. Rombo, Rombo, let me tell you. Let me bring y'all up another guy that was a a a, a, a baller and a great re- a receiver that never got a chance. Ross Dwelly. Man, Ross Dwelly was a hell of a, a good tight end. When Kittle wouldn't play and he'd have to come in and, and play, I remember when that one Arizona game, he got like three touchdowns. Rombo, Ross Dwelly was very, very underrated. And his Kyle blocking wasn't bad? Yeah, his blocking wasn't that bad. I, I, ain't, I 
I ain't go. I ain't go. I ain't go go that far. But well, wasn't that bad to the point he got to sit down all the time? And then Charlie Warner took his job. But man, Rombo, who do you who do you who do you think we taking in the first round? Roberto Aguayo's, you know, nephew or a kicker? <laughs> Bill, Jenny, you're late on that joke. Bill already brought that one up. <laughs> you know, the 49ers haven't completely lost their mind. They're, they're not going to get it. Okay, um, you know what's so bad, though? They have. Because I guarantee you, Jalen, they're going to yeah, take a defensive lineman. <laughs> it's going to be defensive lineman in the first round. I'm telling you. Rombo. Uh, thanks to the great glory, the great glorious football gods that brought us Brock Purdy. You do remember that this man, Kyle Shanahan, took two first round picks and drafted Trey Lance, right? And then <laughs> sent him to the Cowboys for a fourth round pick. Let's not forget he did that. That's literally probably one of the I know worst you trades in draft picks. In NFL history, hands down, don't think about it. <laughs> uh, Let's not forget that. Let's not forget two first round picks and I think a second just to send him for a fourth round pick. Let's not forget that, y'all. Let's please not forget that. And if it weren't for Brock Purdy, boy, boy Rombo, the NFL would have, they would have, man, Rombo, he wouldn't have been able to, I don't know if he would have been able to fight that one off. But that's not here nor there. Brock <sighs> Purdy's the fifth best quarterback in the NFL. And I'm not finna debate this with nobody. He's the fifth best quarterback. I'm, yeah. I'm not debating this. But, <laughs> you know, you know, I give a Josh Allen, okay. Josh, Josh, Lamar, Joe, Pat. After that, you can't tell me that. You can't convince me that Justin Herbert better than uh, Brock Purdy. Now, I, I need to. Hey. I had this argument recently. Justin Herbert may be the most overrated quarterback in the NFL, and he's getting paid what he's getting paid. And Justin Ain't Herbert never Brock. comes up with the numbers when he needs to. As in, he had some some prime, prime time receivers. And people, well, if he had no, no, Justin Herbert's got some great. Those, both those receivers are he good. It. He got it. Nah, he got it. As a matter of fact, if you if you that guy, you should need it. Pat ain't got nobody, and he's still well. He got he got Travis Kelsey. But he ain't got no receivers like that, and he's still able to get the job done. If you that no. guy, you should be able to get the job done without receivers. And Justin That's Herbert, right. he just, he averaged. He averaged at best. At best, Rombo, he averaged. I, I he agree. Kirk Cousins, he a physical, he a more physical Kirk Cousins, Rombo. Matter of fact, he Phillip Rivers. All over again. He just ain't going to win no playoff game. It's a good comparison. Phillip Rivers. He Phillip Rivers, Rombo. That, that's all he is. He Phillip Rivers. You're going to, you know, barely any postseason success. But, you know, got good stats, you know what I'm saying, respectable amongst the league, played a long time. Oh, he everybody talks about him. That's all over the world. They put him in the top yeah, three or four quarterbacks, yeah. So, you know, Herbert, I, I'm sorry, I, I just don't see it. I didn't see it two years ago. I said, you know what, he gets a lot of love for a guy that never gets to the postseason. Well, okay, yeah. I, I don't know. I, 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 I tell you yeah. what, it's blasphemy, and I don't see it very often. But you know what, I got totaled on Twitter – well, I said, you know what, Lamar Jackson, he's got some things he's got to get better at as a, as a quarterback. Man, what you talk? I, all they, I got beat up. I didn't say anything. You still like black quarterbacks? What are you talking about? I'm black. Hey, listen, guys, I'm telling you right now, I just haven't seen what I need to see. He don't want two MVPs, brother. He don't want them two MVPs. I, I but, can't, I can't say, I can't say no. <laughs> yeah. All I, hey, I did. That's what I'm saying. I didn't say anything about his ability to. He's a playmaker. He's a game changer. I just said he needed to improve some of his passing skills. No, and he I, I, no, he don't. No, he don't. And that means all these pocket passes need to improve on their running skills. Let's not do that to him, Rombo. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Nah, you can't have listen, it both ways. Listen, you got pocket passes that can't get out wait, wait, of the or who can't, J- can't improve. Jalen, I just want to say one thing. If he ever does improve just slightly on his passing game, he'll be better than Patrick Mahomes. Not only better, but he'll be no, he twice ain't. as better. No, he ain't. Ain't nobody going to be better than Patrick Mahomes. Bro. Yo, no, 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 no. This he man will. got two Super Bowls on our head. Don't say that. That's <laughs> respectful. I'm not doing nothing to Rombo. Nah, ain't nobody going to be better than Patrick Mahomes, Rombo. With three yes. rings, did you really just say that? Well, he, he, I, notice I, the key word here. Would, would be... I didn't say he is. Ain't he ain't nowhere ain't near no Patrick one. Mahomes right now. Ain't nobody going to be better than Patrick Mahomes. It's over with. Not after what he just did. Also, Jalen. Not after Jaylen, what he just did. No. Well, no. But, Jalen, listen. Check this out. Because you see what the uh, Chiefs did? 
to Lamar, that's going to be the blueprint. Watch what happens next year. He's got to be able to shot them shots accurately and on time to certain receivers. That's what everybody's going to do. They're going to spy him, spy him, spy him the whole time. You know what, Marombo? Fuck it. I'll say it. Brock Purdy better than Josh Allen. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know what? Yeah, yup. Hey, he add Dak me. Prescott to he that list, me. too. Rombo, Dak Prescott, come on, Rombo. Don't do that. Don't even, that's not even funny. Come on, don't do that. You, you didn't even have to bring his name up. Anyway, he's not Dak. in the top 10 for me. Now, well, I, I don't know, Rombo. I don't think, I don't, Brock over CJ? Uh, CJ, that boy good. Oh. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, like, that boy nice. That boy nice. But CJ who? CJ Stroud. Oh, I thought you, I was thinking Bethard. Uh, CJ, no, no, CJ Stroud's going to be one of the best league in the league. I already oh, picked good. him to win the AFC next year because, uh, I, you know, they got it going on and they got they got good coaching. They got our guy over there, so I, you know, yeah. they, he's in good hands. Anyway, we go for him. I mean, Rumble, they, I'm gonna, what do you what do you think we should take in the first round, Rombo? What do you think we should? Don't tell I me need, what you want. No, no, no. I'm, what do you think? I, no, offensive lineman. I'm going to go look. There may not be none available, though, but I'm going to see. I already know what they're going to do. It's going to be defensive lineman. Uh, we got to go, though. Are we in a late we're, we're going to trade up in that 31 position. Oh, uh, you know, shit. Yeah, we are. We ain't getting nothing wrong, but we might as well just. Oh, Lord. A late first <laughs> round pick, basically the second. Let's just be real. <laughs> Jen, we gotta go. I'm gonna see you Sunday if you got time. If we're not celebrating Easter Sunday, all right. I see you, Rumble. Looking forward to it. All right, fam. All right, Jen. Tony. Tony, eighteen. Rumble, Rump, Rump. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Tony. Yeah, it's, it's, is that it's, the young man that always wanted Sh- Shanahan fired? The one that just left Jalen. Yeah, that, that's Jalen. He's he, 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 he Jalen's his point always is the same. He says, "Rumbo, how many times have you seen a quarterback get to the playoffs and lose, and give the opportunity to have it happen to him three or four times and not get fired?" <laughs> I can't even say anything. That does happen. You come up short at the playoffs. It doesn't take much anymore. But Tony. Here's my problem with firing a coach that's that's competing and getting it done and just coming up short by a little bit. Who are you going to get to replace him? I don't I don't have such a personal attachment that I don't want to get rid of him. I, I want to know. Don't bring me no garbage in here that's going to do worse. That's my only thing. Don't bring something in here that's going to get an ass whooping and not even make it to the playoffs. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know. Well, if you look in the 2000s, in the 2000s, uh, 99, and then the 2000s. No, oh, not 99. I, I'm, I'm, mis- I'm wrong on that. In the 2000s, mm-hmm. didn't Andy Reid lose a lot of NFC championships with Donovan McNabb? They lost about three. Absolutely. And then went to the Super Bowl and lost. You, you can yeah. go back further than that. Look well, at Buffalo. Happened. Going to the Super Bowl every year. What was that coach's name? He was the same guy. Marv Levy. Marv. Marv, Marv was Levy. right there every year. They went four times to the Super Bowl and lost. But Kyle's... Eagles, one more time, he will say four times he's been to that well and lost. That's bad. Uh. And then in the uh, in 69 and in the 70s, Hall of Fame coach, he just passed away to last year. Minnesota's Bud Grant, four Super Bowls in eight years, lost them all. Yeah, Minnesota's, oh, yeah, Minnesota's legendary for that. Yes. Yeah, the Many, purple people eaters, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the uh, if you want to you want to even look back further, the Oakland Raiders. John Madden was a, a offensive line coach. Yeah. They went to Super Bowl two, lost to Vince Lombardi in Vince mm. Lombardi's last game with the mm. Packers. Mm. Super Bowl two, that was sixty seven. Mm. Ron Brown was historian. And you, well, then you know, the uh, Oakland and Raiders and the Steelers beat up 70s. on the Raiders. Yeah, how many times the Steelers beat up on the Raiders? Yeah, they lost a lot of AFC Championship games. They lost about four or five of them before reaching the Super Bowl and finally winning. Then the next year, the lost AFC Championship game to the Broncos. Hey, wasn't that uh, uh, Hall of Fame, uh, what's the quarterback's name? That Wasn't he in the picture then? For, for, for what team? Oh, Kenny Saber? No, no, Denver, Denver Broncos. 
No, that was Craig Morton. That was before Elway. Oh, Elway. Elway. Okay, not Elway's time. Yeah, orange Craig. Crush. You remember the Orange Crush? Yeah, I know. Ain't nothing but a soda water. The orange Crush? <laughs> yep, Tom Jackson. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. That's, that's, that's a good question for you. Got Tom Jackson was on that thing. Oh, yeah. Orange Crush. But, but, but there's, a, there's a question for you. At the end of the game, who was sitting there crumbling up a can of uh, 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 Orange Crush soda? Ain't nothing but a soda water. Who did that? Hollywood Henderson. <laughs> no, uh, Harvey Martin. You remember that name? Harvey Martin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was, uh, he was uh, MVP. Him and Randy White was uh, M- co-MVPs of Super Bowl Twelve. Man, Craig Morton took a beating in that game. I was a kid. He took a beating. You, 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 I think they had like You, you can recognize a beating, though, when you see it, boy. Good Lord. Yes, sir. Pl- yes, sir. People off the st- stretchers. My God. Those were the days. Hey, Rudy, since I'm talking history, let's talk about these 69 Rams again to start the season 11 and 0. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Oh, Ru- Rudy goes back to about them. Rudy likes to go back farther than that. Oh, but that's funny though. What? You go eleven and zero and lose and lose your last three games and then lose the playoff game. Don't go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> See, you, you had to pry. Did you? Do you ask about? You had to pry that out of him. He's got these old posters and things he likes to put up all the time. You guys <laughs> like to talk about us never having won any championship. We got just as many as you do. We got him back before football. They were still wearing leather helmets and everything else. It doesn't matter. It's still a championship game. But really, yeah, then the Cleveland Browns. Well, that's before they changed the name. They were, you know, like, oh, God, yes. give it, give it, go, oh, stop, don't at me. <laughs> Jesus, the guy's just a metal I've case. I've never heard about them like that, though. Oh, just start the season. Don't get into conversation at 11 and 0. I know it's. Town, then you lose the rest of the way. Well, you know, Cam Newton. Uh, just, what, what did Cam? Oh, they, they yeah, went to the yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, they were 15. And you guys yeah, beat them. Remember that one game? You, we beat them. You beat them, yeah. Kyle and company. Yeah, it was two weeks left in the season. Julio Jones uh, got him for 239. <laughs> it was in Carolina, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him up. It's, you know. Hey, Rambo, I see the Jets. The Jets are trying to – Jets, uh, you heard about uh, they just traded for Hassan Reddick. Oh. The Eagles the outside linebacker. The, the I was wondering where he was going to end up. Today. The Jets picked him up, huh? Yeah, yeah, for a, for a, uh, a third round pick that could turn into a second round pick. That sounds like I trade for Calvin Ridley. Hey, who come? Who was coming off the edge for the Jets before? Oh, they got uh, they got some good players that they drafted. Um, that Jermaine Johnson, the former first round pick out of uh, Florida State, which they got in the twenty twenty two draft. Um, the Jets got a good defense. Uh, let's they see did, who else yeah, they, got. they, they uh, had one of the best in the game. That's why they went and got Aaron because they figured that's all they needed. See, see, tell me, there's one, there's, there's a good example of what I'm talking about. The Jets don't have a lot of of, of, of guys beyond a rookie contract, do they? Because when you think about how good that defense performed, and then you got money to go pay Aaron Rodgers fifty mil, you know. But their defense is young. They do have a lot on rookie contracts. Just off yeah. Bryce Huff, who had 12 sides. He's in the NFC. They just uh, – let's see, they got uh, C.J. Mosley, who's a big salary. He used to be with Baltimore. Um, they got uh, Solomon Thomas is still there. Remember him? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, I, he doesn't I, start, I though. definitely remember him, yes. God. Yeah, he doesn't start, though. Yeah. You got Will McDonald, a former first round pick two years ago. I wanted him. He, he didn't really do nothing in his rookie year, though. He didn't really do anything. So they got him. Yeah, uh, they still sauce. got Quentin Williams, one of the best right? he he tackles in football. And, 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 and you know why I wanted Sauce Gardner? I wanted to be able to say, oh, man, <laughs> that dude just got sauced. <laughs> you know, but you know, <laughs> man, Sauce Gardner's a bad boy, man. I, oh, he's good. I like him even better than the guy over Rambo, in, in the Broncos. Pressure's on, Rambo. Who? Pressure's up, boy. If, if you saw Cal Hurd, he's been tearing Aaron Rodgers apart because Aaron Rodgers is still – he's kind of hiding. He's shooting off his mouth but then shutting up, kicking and choosing the spots. Man, and he, show up and play. No, he does that every year. He's been, doing that for, he's been doing that for yep. how long? He better show up and play, though, Rambo. 
Mm-hmm. Coming off that Achilles, he's 40 years old. And, he better and, play well. And, and a candidate to be vice president. Can you imagine? Yeah. And, well, I, <laughs> what, do you, but what do you think Aaron will choose, though? If, if football or being the vice president candidate, he'll probably try to do well, He both. already said he's not, he's, not, he's not running on that ticket with uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. He's, <laughs> he's uh, committed to football. <laughs> Rombo, they, they better win, Rombo. They better win. No, no, they you know, had media, like you said, New off York. Season, they're gonna come out there. That's right. Yeah. Had he played last year, they were supposed Coming to be winning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a but tough. He gets city. a pass because he got hurt the first game. Yeah. But if he's playing game after game after game, they're not having good results. Ooh. Coming after him, especially the way, the way he TV talks. Theater. Yep. Yeah. Aaron's be talking trash. Oh, they're gonna kill him. Aaron has no idea what's He'll coming. He'll probably go hide. They say, "Where's Aaron for the press conference?" Oh, they'll find. He him. went. He went home. He didn't even take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon he's there at his house. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, CBS News. We need. Can we just have a word? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Rambo, did you hear that? Uh, they said they're not going to pay back Prescott now. They're just going to let him. Play yeah, out the last oh, year I'm glad you brought that up. Contract. I couldn't stop laughing. Change their mind. I, no, they didn't. Jerry never said anything other than, "Well, we'll go wherever Dak takes us." You know, I got a kick out of what is Jerry subliminal message time again, uh, and then well, we're just going to play this out and and see how it goes. It, Jerry's waiting for Dak to show him yeah, something. Yeah, he said. Yep. Where is Rambo, I think it, it's time for Trey Lance to mature. Rob, I like the Trey Lance in the draft. I want to. I saw it North Dakota know, State. There's going to be a competition in there. Rob, him the mature. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He he's got a rocket. Got, but you know that kid matures. Our family just have fun. Yeah. Watch out. Just hang loose, relax. You know it's so bad though. Dak almost has to play because of his salary. But yeah, halfway through the season. If Dak is stumbling around, it, I think it, they'll let Trey. I think they'll let Trey it, play there. It, you think they'll trade Trey? No, they'll let him play. I, they'll wait for Dak. Dak will get five or six weeks. Huh? If they're two and four, then of course the thinking starts. You'll see Trey warming up on the sidelines for a couple of weeks, and then you'll see week eight. Dak, that's it. Come on back. Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to talk to you a minute. Uh, Trey's going to go in for you, Dak. I think you need a little rest, see if we can get you some treatment, maybe see if you're okay. Your, how your leg feel? My leg's fine. Uh, you should go ahead and admit your leg hurts because it's hurting me. <laughs> yeah. Bravo, I, I, don't care, I don't care about what he did last year. Dak, just like Stafford, I don't care. They, they are still the same guy, Prescott and, and uh, Dak Prescott and uh, Matthew Stafford. They yeah. throw picks. You and I both know it. The crucial yeah. moment. A pick is coming. Yeah, well, the you, Buffalo game, and then the Miami game. Last and, year, and, and, and Tony, you're right. You're in, the, in, the Green right. Bay, in the Green Bay game of the playoffs. It's, it's, so that pick at the end of the first, and that two picks the third. Tony, and, and you know what that That's indicates? the same guy. It is the same guy. And also it means this. If they don't have a run game, they will screw up. Both of them. And that's why when they let Dak, when they, they, they had Dak, they gave him a little bit of a run game, you know, and he did a little better last year. Stafford, they use the running back there too. He's pretty good. A little less stress, cause both of them. Yeah, Williams. Yeah. They just, yeah. They just throw that ball, man. I mean, what are you doing? Oh, that's big. You got he's going all the way. I love mean, I'm, I'm watching that. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, man. They're the same, and they, they're not going. It's not going to change. Defenses are going to defense them. Dak will throw picks. No doubt remember, about it. he can't help. Two thousand twenty-one. Who led the league in interceptions? It was Stafford. 2022, who led the league in interceptions? It was Prescott. Yeah. That's not going to change. Hey, hey, and Tony, don't forget, he didn't even play the whole season. <laughs> That's right. I remember he missed a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean anything. Dax, I'm with change. that crowd. <laughs> Can't nobody throw more picks than me? <laughs> yes, sir. Stafford yes, was sir, so Tom. relieved when Dak came gonna... back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because remember, it was it was uh it was Stafford, it was Jameis Winston, and, and it Dak. was uh, Dak. They were competing. Then Jameis got hurt. Yeah, yeah. They Took... were competing for the for the, they all throw picks. 
So Cleveland better hope that Deshaun Watson don't get hurt. Tony should have kept Joe Flacco. That was dumb. So I tell you, hey, hey, have a good happy Easter. I tell you what, if you got time Sunday night to after overeating and, and working out, I'm gonna get back on here and talk some more football. I can't help Sundays. I gotta talk football. In spite of, of yes, sir. Of, you, you and your family have a happy Easter, also, sir. And thanks, um, I'm gonna get back in the chat and mess with these knucklehead Rams fans. <laughs> Rumble, you're so right. They have no shame. No, no. These Texas boys and GD are hot. I mean, it, <laughs> I mean, Michael replied they went and hunted his daughter down. She's a young girl. What kind of dude it does that? That is sad. Pathetic. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Howard. Well, yeah. Anyway, I'll be looking for you Sunday, Sunday night. All right. All right, sir. You take care. Happy Easter. We got three and a half weeks to draft night. Ooh. Oh, it'll be here soon. It'll go by quick, too. You know it. All right, About fam. Three and a half weeks. Yes, sir. All right, Tony. Take care, sir. Yeah, you too. Happy Good Easter. Night. night, Tony. Uh, and, oh, this reminds me of uh, Barack came in. <laughs> Tony, show must be over. You know, Tony, he brings up the encore. Yeah. <laughs> Tony! Uh, Marketing Pro, Stafford over anybody in the NFC. Marketing Pro, we, we need to debate that. Now, now Marketing Pro, I want you, as you're making that statement, back it up. With some stats. You can't just be biased because he's on the Rams, okay? Because when he leaves the Rams, you're not going to be, you're going to be laughing at some of his achievements as much as we are. Although Matty Stafford, last year when he got leveled, what game was that? When I saw his eyes roll into the back of his head, who hit him? Somebody hit him so hard. I said, you know, Stafford can't take too many more hits like that. <laughs> this is too far in his career to be, be getting hit that hard. So, you know. And by the way, Marketing Pro, I, I, you know, when Stafford leaves, it's start all over again with a new quarterback. Is Stetson Bennett Jr. going to be ready? Can't wait till you guys go shopping for a quarterback. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> but, hey, let me stop clouding. Fam, happy Easter. I mean, let's go Sunday evening. I'm come on in and just a little bit, I, you know. I can't help it. We got to talk. I want to talk about Eric Armstead and as far as the 49ers ethics uh, and where you stand right now on that position, as well as the fact of the matter is, did we, well, I, oh, let's save it for then. I'll say, fam, thanks for the contributions. And please don't forget to subscribe so we can find you. We're getting ready to talk 49er football. We want to talk to you. All right. Have a great night. Thanks for the likes. I know. God, I love doing that. <laughs> Thanks, William. Happy Easter.